Hello. I am Bentham and welcome to the stream. We're only 45 minutes late due to technical difficulties. At least they happened before the stream started, he says, jinxing it. But I was like, oh, let me just set it up so that OPS is uh, capturing KSP. Oh, no, that doesn't work. Oh, interesting. Okay, well, what if we try window capture? No, it doesn't even know the window exists. How about display capture? No, that's also broken. Wait, is OBS broken? Yes, OBS is broken. Now let's capture KSP. Wait, no, it still doesn't do that, but it now does do display capture, so I guess I can do that, maybe. It's... it's... it's one of those days. It's one of those days. <laughs> I like that the Jogman's been here for a while, and just now, you got the notification for the stream. Even though that was an now announced more than an hour ago. Because, of course. Now OBS is saying there's issues with, with the bitrate, maybe? That's interesting. Is the... Is the scroll of names lagging, I wonder? I'm not dropping any frames. That's very strange. Very strange indeed. Also, YouTube uh, has finally struck me with its uh, updates to um, the UI. There's now a new YouTube UI and it's terrible and everyone hates it, but they just kept implementing it anyway. But there's still a button to return to the original one, but they've threatened that they're going to remove that soon. So, it's... Uh, that's a whole thing. And honestly, I'd be fine with it, except they've gutted the analytics section, and I love the analytics section of YouTube. It's the best thing about YouTube, because it actually has everything. You can compare any anything you want to anything else you want in terms of your metrics. It's wonderful, I love it. And they're getting rid of that and making a really crap one that... The only good thing about it is it tells you how your videos do compared to each other over particular time spans, but you can't check stuff about where viewers come from anymore and how people are finding you just how many people are finding you. i need to know where they're coming it's stupid um just, i shouldn't rant because we'll never we'll never actually get to the game but yes uh, for those who don't know kerbal space program 2 has been announced and my initial response was wait what huh why but i'm coming around to it there's a lot of cool stuff they're planning so i'm now getting very hyped and of course because i'm hyped about uh KSP2, we gotta play some KSP1 to tide us over until uh, the uh, the game comes out. And also, when I did the uh, the Patreon polls for what games to play on stream, uh, KSP was a close second behind FTL, so I thought, you know what, people wanted it anyway, I'm interested in, in playing it now, so we're doing it, we're playing Kerbal Space Program again. I enable a setting that forces YouTube to use a really old UI and it's bliss. A really old UI? I don't know about really old. I don't know the older ones. I just know this current one that they're now removing. That makes me sad. Um, okay, let's try actually d getting the, the damn game to appear on the screen. That would be that would be lovely and wonderful. Boop. Also, my face is here. Hi, I'm going to be on camera today. I felt like it. Uh, bloop. There it is. We made it work. I've got it on this monitor, which is weird. Usually things are on this one, but I've gone with the, the one I'm actually facing this time, so uh, I can I can see you better. But this is uh, this is a space station that I made. I just was like poking around my old saves and found um, found that uh, th this was was on here. Um, I've actually built this a couple times in Kerbal Space Program because it's easier than building the International Space Station. This is the Tiangong um, proposed uh, space station, the Chinese space station. Um, which they are in the process of building. I don't know what current stage they're at. They don't talk about it much, so like they never might make big announcements to the world about their achievements with spaceflight. They just quietly build a space station, um, the only nation currently capable of doing so. And nobody seems to really be that bothered, which is weird to me. But yeah, they've been building a space station, and they've been doing... Uh, like they, they did like a practice run. They, they've launched this thing once, and then that's crashed again. I mean, it, it, they knew it was going to crash. It didn't just, like, suddenly crash into a satellite. It, it um, uh, deorbited. They, I think they were trying to keep it in orbit, and they couldn't send a, someone up there in time to command it to, like, to refuel it or something. 
So that did burn up, but that was a test component, and then they're going to... The current plan, I believe, is to launch the actual whole thing, so... They've done this, and they've done this, which is a Shenzhou, which is not a Soyuz, it just looks exactly like a Soyuz, because the Chinese were like, Russians know what they're doing. They're the most reliable spacecraft in the world, we'll just build the same thing. It works. And that's what they did, it's, it's worked very well. I'm ready to screenshot any memeable moments of facial expression. Then I apologize, the Jogman, for the terrible lighting that I've got going on. I had some lighting. It was crap, but it was functional, um, and it's broken now. So I don't have lighting. There's only lights behind me, and I can't... I don't actually own, I realize at this point, lights that aren't fixed to ceilings. So I can't put a light behind the monitor to, uh, to work on the, the brightness. So I had to do a lot of messing with settings to make it even this bright. So... Yeah. The cup, the cup is blocking the Kerbal faces. We can move that. Hang on, let me just... Oh, yeah, that does that. So I can't actually see where the Kerbal faces are, but I'm going to move it to there and assume that that's correct. And then there we go. Oh yeah, pr plenty of clearance there. Oh, hang on, now I've messed things up. There's a thing. It, mm, eh. OBS being a pain. Just move the ceiling. Ah... Uh... Make more sense to move me, honestly, to shift my whole desk around to face the light. Which I could do, kind of. Yeah, it'd be a bit of a mess. I won't do that. I'll get some lighting. I'll get some proper lighting instead of just a lamp. Um, I'll get some actual, like, a light box kind of set up, probably, or, or something. So yeah, the, there's this whole plan that they have to, to launch uh, their own space station like on the level of like Mir in terms of scale not quite international space station um but yeah there's going to be this big central habitation module and this is going to be like a utility module thing and then you got the science modules here and and then various docking ports all about the place for their uh their shensus to uh to dock to and hopefully it doesn't go the way of the Tiangong in um, in gravity, which uh, was actually like it was the idea that there was a Chinese space station in gravity was because Tiangong actually exists, but the actual mock-up of it they made uh, for the movie was completely wrong. They just made a randomly designed space station, I think, just for the purposes of the cool moment where what's her face tries to get in the space station. They didn't make it like the actual planned design, so I decided to build the actual planned design and of course in the movie um the station enters the atmosphere and burns up for reasons and plots really that wouldn't actually happen with a strike by small amounts of debris um you wouldn't get a space station being deorbited by that if it was still intact like if there was enough debris to shred the thing then maybe it would be slowed down enough to fall into the atmosphere but otherwise it wouldn't ever actually happen but if it did this is one of the things it could look like. Though honestly, the structural connections on KSP space stations are way too strong for uh, for reality. So this thing will stay together far too well, all things told. Yeah, yeah, I noticed, Rofty. I noticed. <laughs> oh, oh, there we go. Oh, that's interesting. Why solar panels explode now? Apparently. Instead of just falling apart. I kind of liked it when they fell apart. Oh no, they overheated before the... That's fun. The solar panel managed to overheat and explode before it fell apart and, and came away. Neat. There we go. We're getting into, uh, into the part of the atmosphere where you really feel it now. Everything's still pretty stable. I think I might just release the docking ports as we go to simulate the, the modules breaking off. Because they would. In reality, I did. I did genuinely consider Bodell's putting a white, uh, just putting a pure white screen on one of my monitors to light up my face. But I'm kind of using all my monitors, really. So here we go. We're still not at like a, a one G though. Deceleration. We're gonna hit it pretty solidly soon. Um, I'll think about that later, uh, KG Gollum. After the stream. Now, are these gonna explode or are they gonna break apart? I wonder. We're past half a G. Oh, there they go. Okay, they fell off this time. 
Yep, that's all the solar panels. Right, let's have some fun here, because nothing's going to happen otherwise with these. Oh, no, I can't disconnect. There we go. Undock. Oh, hello. It's quicker, apparently. Neat. There that goes. Let's detach this one. Oh, that goes flying. We've got a bit of a spin going. Oh, there we go. Something in that came apart. Uh, that one just goes whizzing off. There we go. We're, re we're past like the strongest bit of deceleration. We're nearly out of the part where we're on fire. And there goes our little pod. Which will successfully, with a bit of hammering of space, make it to the surface just fine. Shame you can't see a damn thing. It is not safe to deploy chutes. I should not do that. I nearly pressed the button. That would have been very bad. Stabilize the thing for what it's worth. They all the parts. They've gone miles. There's some behind us. Uh, it's safe for the parachutes. Let's do it. Twelve thousand meters. Also known as twelve kilometers. If I want to speak normally. Hello, Jonathan Rudy. Is my is my youngest fan here? I have a face this time, so they can wave at me, I guess. Let me watch as all the debris hits the ground. Oh, there we go. I'm gonna see about switching to it, but too late. Parachute should open in a second. There they go. And now everything plummets past us. Oh. I think that's uh, all the debris. Oh wait, no, there's another bit. Nice. What have we got? Oh, I can't switch because I'm floating. Oh, you're on your phone. Okay. <laughs> Amazing moment to join in. Nice. Um, KSP2 isn't going to be an Epic exclusive. Apparently they have announced we are not going to make it an Epic exclusive. It will it will uh, release on Steam. Which surprised me, honestly. It seemed like... I mean, it's... I'm pretty sure that Epic, the moment they saw the announcement, was like, Yes, yes, give us a, give us the game. We must have it. All of the sequels. But uh, KSP was like, Nope, Steam. I don't really have any opinions on uh, on what was the right answer to the question of uh, what service it should be on anyway. But we know what Epic is like. It's like, a sequel? A sequel to a game people really liked? Yes, give it to us. Exclusives. We need them. Precious exclusives. Oh yeah, because this is like a proper Soyuz capsule. It doesn't have any, like, it doesn't have crazy reaction wheels like the uh, actual KSP stuff does. So I can't, like flail us around as we as we fall. And boop. Oh nice. Like a weeble it wobbles but it doesn't fall down. Now we can have oh wow <laughs> this this isn't a very solid piece. It literally just like lost the, the docking port. And two of the the solar panels. That's like all it lost. What the hell? Oh and like maybe some oh, there might have been a little bit of a thing on the end here. 
Oh, yeah, I can't look in there because I don't have control of this, but I've got like there's like a service module with crew components and batteries and stuff in it. I set this up properly. I tried to even make all the different uh, modules actually serve the roles they were meant to on the station. So the science modules have science labs and the utility module has a small cabin and then the uh, habitation module has a large cabin. I was I, I was very careful in my assembly this. I, I worked very hard on making it work. You, oh, you linked the first memeable moment to facial expression. or There was already one? Oh no. What did, what did I do? Oh, okay. <laughs> oh, dear. Alright, shall we go mess around with some mod stuff? Oh, yeah, this was a 0.6.0. Uh, uh, yeah, I'm going to quit. I'm not going to save. Because I want that station to stay in orbit and not be destroyed. That would be nice. This thing always takes forever to, like, actually load the screen. There it is. Um, I'm going to pop into a test one that I have and we're just gonna faff about because we, we can't do like a campaign today or anything really so we're going to uh who's working on what ah people talking about epic and things um yeah we we're not gonna do a campaign today we should just faff about with the uh with the stuff we can do quickly. And to that end, um, I'm going to uh, to show off some of the things I've been working on. Because I have already been faffing about with uh, some of the modded stuff. Let's see. Uh, I made a plan. This is plan. So, there's propellers now. That's a thing. They made uh, all the robotic stuff. So, we have uh, pistons, rotors, hinges, other things... Oh, there we go. Yeah, it's so a rotor engine that actually burns fuel for uh, for just an extra boost. Servos. Cool stuff like that. And so I use them to make a plane. I forget if this is any good. I think I made this work right. Now, hang on a minute. Uh, no, that is right. Yeah. Getting, them, getting the propellers to rotate in opposite directions is a pain. But we're going to try and fly this. It's not faffing about the entire point of KSP. Well, sometimes you can have a concerted effort to uh, to do a certain thing, but we're definitely not doing that today. I may not even leave uh, the atmosphere today because I just want to mess about with propellers. So, got to remember what to do. Oh, oh I know. I've got to hold down brake, and then I can activate both propellers without the whole plane just spinning out of control. There we go. Yeah, I gave this one a lot of oomph. I was having issues where I couldn't get the propellers to work. It turned out that you need to, like, engage them before they provide thrust. And so I was making bigger and bigger propellers, thinking I just needed more more power. Then I finally got it to work, and it's like, oh, oh, this is way more power than I need. Um, okay, let's get this stable, because I forgot to hit T. That's important. Um, yeah, this is having... It, it wants to rotate. It's a bit of a problem. Come on, get it. Get it, like, level. And then pull up. And then, can you be stable? Yes, there we go. Our plane is stable. Also, the rotors make, like, no noise because they don't know that it's propellers they're driving. They... So they're just like... Oh, oh, hello. Why did that happen? Why are we suddenly... What? Oh, we ran out of power. Uh-oh. 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 Yeah, we're screwed. <laughs> I tried to hit the brakes just to shut down the propeller so I could just try and right the thing. I forgot the thing about this, uh... Yeah, I know it's a very short plane and that doesn't help its stability. <laughs> Hang on, I forgot about a thing. So, obviously they run off battery power. And so you've got to make sure you have enough power being stored or generated. I forgot, these things should not run anywhere near full pelt. I need to run them at like 30%. And then, uh, the solar panels are enough to keep them running. Right, this should work now. I, I put the torque on max, you don't need the torque on max to run them most of the time. Not even close. So that was just a <laughs> complete waste of power. Uh, okay, yeah, so we are using power now, but very slowly, so we're doing okay. We drop the torque limit a bit. Now that we're going, shouldn't be a problem, just dropping both down to 25. 
Uh, still losing power. What about 20? Still using power, just. But that's pretty good. I think it's the, the torque that it uses power rather than, like, the speed, which makes sense. What do you drop it to 50? Oh, no, 15's too much. Nope, no, 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 no. Everything's fine. Okay, yeah. If you drop the torque too much, then the thing can't stay at full speed anymore, and then you suddenly are in serious trouble. So be careful about that. Also, thank you very much, Tim H, for that $5 super chat to the moon. Yay, stream is back. Thank you very much, Tim H. Sorry, I've been so spotty with streams. Gonna try and work on that. That said, I know for a fact that I'm going to miss uh, the Saturday stream and the Monday stream coming because I'm not going to be at home for those. Actually, I might be at home for the Monday stream. I might have just got back home on Monday. But I'm away for the weekend. I'm still going to make it to roll for it, but I'm not going to be here for streams otherwise. I'm going to try and get some stuff recorded anyway to, uh, to tide you over while I'm gone. We'll see how that goes. But yeah, there's not going to be the next two streams. I'll maybe do a stream on Tuesday instead to make up for not doing Monday if I can't. But I might be able to do Monday anyway. Maybe like later, like midnight on Monday. I'm, I'm not really sure. It depends when I get home. Ah, yes, you did, Blue Dolls. I'm, I'm, black and white is definitely uh, at the back of my mind as a, as a thing to, uh, to play. I think it's going to be one of the options on one of my o o Patreon polls coming up. I've got a couple planned. Um, there's going to be an old games poll, which is like games from uh, like 2008 sooner and sooner that kind of thing. I haven't decided exactly what counts as old games, but there's a couple of things on there that like I still have on my PC as a as a functional thing, or well, to a certain degree, depends on your your exact definition. And uh, once I've checked that I can get all of those games running on my PC for a definite. Then uh, I'll put the poll up. Um, I'll do the thing. Yeah, I think one of them is going to be Mountain Blade Warband. Mountain Blade Two has a release date now, or I think I don't know if it has an exact release date, but it has a, re a release year of next year, if I remember rightly. Which means that presumably Half Life Three is going to be announced with a release date soon. Because <laughs> uh, <laughs> Mountain Blade Two is one of those games that's like it's just never going to come out, is it? But no, it is actually coming out now. Definitely going to play that when it comes out. And in the meantime. Might do some Mountain Blade uh, Warband. So yeah, a lot of cool uh, twos of games coming out uh, next year. Hopefully they're actually good. That is the hope. I'm sorry to tell you, uh, a Blight Oath, but 2008 is 11 years ago. It's pr pretty old as games go. Sorry. I forget when I've Mountain Blade. I think that was 2008. It might have been 2006 or something. I think, I think, Mountain Blade Warband took like five years to release as well. So really, Bannerlord's just been par for the course as far as that studio goes. If it's even the same studio at this point, I imagine some of the people have died who worked on ba on Warband at this point. Oh yeah, there's gameplay of Bannerlord going about, but it's like it wasn't. There wasn't a complete game. There's lots of bits of gameplay. That kind of thing. We're gonna see if we can land on the here, by the way, if uh, if you hadn't guessed. See how it goes. Yeah. Oh yeah. The engines. I don't think this one's at 21 right now. Let's put it down. Let's put it down to like 18. I think 18 is manageable. Uh, there we go. 18. Oh no, no, we're having issues. Maybe not. Also, I need to pull up because I haven't been paying attention. Yeah, I don't think they're going full pelt anymore. So maybe this is bad. I've definitely kind of missed the runway here. Uh, yeah, they're slowly spinning down. No, they're going up again. It's, it's very strange. Okay. Well, we're not landing on this uh, approach. Just do a circle round. Um, we're still burning battery, which is a concern. Alright, swing it around. Easy. And what I can also do is just like hit break every now and then. That allows us to recharge. But then hopefully not drop too much. Also just going to fix the torque limits. Put them back at 20. So I'm not sure 18 is going to work. Goes back up to speed. Pull up. Everything's fine. Where's our shadow? There it is. Yeah, everything's fine. 
doing a bit of a glide. Sharp turn to line up with the runway. And yeah, I don't know if this thing can land at all. I forget if in making this I ever actually landed it. Or even tried to. So we'll see how it goes. Oh, this is going to be a thing. Brake. We're going way too fast. I think we're just going to overshoot this one. If we were right down on the ground right now, it would have worked perfectly. Let's bring it around one more time. Try approaching from uh, the east. Oh, oh, easy. Yeah, it really loves to roll, this plane. And around. Electric charge down to 700. And dropping very rapidly. The danger is if the power actually runs out, it won't just be that the propellers just slowly run down, it will be that one dies and the other does not. Okay, easy. Gear out. Gonna break for a second. Just let us slow down. Oh god, yeah, this thing loves to roll. Get him going again. And break. Oh, oh dear. I think we broke the wheels. Oh no, we broke one blade on the... <laughs> we made it, but we did lose a blade on each propeller. Oh dear. It will still technically fly. Just uh, not as fast now. And yeah, there was kind of an accidental buzzing of the tower, though it barely counts. The tower probably didn't even notice we were there, because we were just uh, gliding over it silently. Yeah, the charging isn't great, and it is like midday, so this is the best time for charging, but it's just not enough. Another, like, one solar panel might make the difference, though. Yeah, I'm gonna try and take- oh, Jesus! Well, never mind! I was gonna say, let's try and take it off again, but then, uh, but then this happened. Alright. Oh, hello. <laughs> oh, because the wheel had a bunch of spin on it, so we just, uh went flying when it touched the ground. Yeah, that went wrong. Oh well. Let's pop back to the space plane hangar and fly something else. I've got a couple other ones. Let's see if there's something slightly more stable. Gonna look through my list. Non-stock things. Uh, I made a drone. Let's see if this is any good. Yeah, so this was my, my tiny little, uh, tiny little propeller drone with a, a wacky design for the propellers, because I was having issues making the propellers work like side to side. I fixed it by the time I made the plan, but I made this first, so... What I did was just have one propeller on the front and one on the back. And that would work better, because then it wouldn't be activate one, the whole thing goes flying sideways, activate the other, too late, you've already exploded anyway. Now it's activate one, you've got a bit of like spin going on, activate the other, that balances out, and then you just do the thing. So we'll try launching this. Oh, the thing is in the way of the fuel. Ah, oh, damn. Yeah, you you can't see the fuel at all. Huh. Where to put this, then? Like... I guess I could lower it? To, like, there? Oh, hang on. Nope. Eh, mm. Okay. But that looks stupid. Can't have it there. You know what I'll do. Better solution. Pop it back up here. Properties. Uh, or maybe not properties. Okay, never mind. Uh, filters. I know transparency is a thing. I've just completely forgotten how to do it. How do you make stuff transparent? Huh.
So this is an easy to do thing, but I've completely forgotten what the actual buttons for it are. Make it smaller, put it under the face cam. That works. Yeah, let's do that. Boop. Make it tiny. Is that is that okay? That, oh, that's not readable. Can't pop it there because it covers the uh, altitude thing. Maybe I'll just remove it this time. Do, do people care that much? People who have super chatted. Oh, whoops. Oh no. Ah. If people who've super chatted, do you care about this thing actually being here? Also, thank you very much, Joey Jenkins, for that five dollar super chat. Been a while since I could make it to a stream. Here's what I missed. Thank you very much, Joey Jenkins. Change font size, or maybe I don't. I don't know how. It's a it's a Streamlabs thing. I don't know how to work it out. Let me try the filters again. There might be a. What if I do this? Oh, I might have it. Uh, maybe? No, I can't work out how to do a transparent color in Just wanted it to be neat and still do the things. But you could read it fine even then. Oh, maybe I can just put it there. There's a way to resize and break the aspect ratio. There's tons. Yeah, there is tons of empty space, but it's because more larger names. Wait, no! I think I found it. Or not. Nothing happened. Did that. I thought I made it transparent, but apparently I didn't. I thought I actually done it. <laughs> Villager noises. <laughs> I may just have to give up and get rid of it. Unless I do a color correction, but the color I correct is transparent. Oh my god, did that work? <laughs> oh dear, oh dear. I love technology sometimes. Yep, I color corrected it to semi transparent. Fixed. Oh dear. Right, let's get back to the game. Oh, our plane's been rolling down the runway for a while. And now you can see the, uh... Now you can see the things. Neat! <laughs> uh, yeah, we'll leave that up. Okay, this should do better for power because it's smaller propellers. They're, like, really tiny ones and don't need as much torque to do the thing. Like, I might be able to set it to, like, 10. Uh, yeah, that gets up to speed. All right. And then set this one to 10. And they rotate in opposite directions, and that's important for balance, because if one of them is spinning one way, the whole plane will roll to the wrong... To, to, well, to, I say the wrong side, to any side that is not directly upright. All sides but upright are wrong. All right, can this take off? I thought it could, but we're struggling. I remember you've got to let it get up to full speed without having the flaps up because it slows it down and then once it's at full speed I think that's enough then you pull up uh, and you, you just run out of speed again it's a difficult one it's a difficult one to make work 
There we go. <laughs> Just if the ground drops out from beneath you, you can get the speed. It's a little bit weird. There we go. We're flying, and it's weirdly silent. They really need to get some propeller noises. Yeah, they're rotating opposite directions to balance out the rotation. I even had to tune them slightly. So the speed of this one is uh, 460, and then the speed of this one is 440, because for some reason, this one has a larger effect on the rotation of the whole plane. So, I have to have them going at slightly different speeds, but there we go. It does. It's going at 88 meters per second. It could time travel if uh, if it had a flux capacitor. It's not true. It's meters per second. They're way quicker than miles per hour, I think. Yep, I think by by like more than double. So yeah, there we go. A little drone plane. Now let's see. Flying this to the uh, to the island will take forever, so I'm just gonna try and spin it round and get it back on the same runway. There we go. It turns all right. It's got it's got a good wingspan, so it can it can redirect fairly well, I think. Is that how that works? I feel like that's how that works. I don't really know. I need to make the propeller noises for you. <laughs> oh dear. <laughs> Does that? I hope that comes across well on the microphone. To me, that sounds like a very good propeller noise. A three point six multiplier. Oh, okay. Oh, to kilometers per hour. Well, yeah, of course. I'm talking about miles per hour because I'm British. Damn it. And we. Never quite finished going metric. Deploying the gear. And I'm just gonna shut these down from here. Torque limit to zero. And you see we start rolling immediately. Torque limit to zero. Now we should be good. Glide it in. Try and keep it straight. Oh no, no. Don't go up too much or we'll just stall and crash. Okay, oh, we did a bit of that. Oh, damn it. That's the big problem I have right now, is that I keep putting the, the wheels just below the propeller distance, and then if you hit the ground too hard, the hydraulics do the thing. And, uh... Yeah. I don't think I can change, like... the hydraulic strength. Maybe in the, uh... in the, the shipbuilder. I can't think what it's called in the <laughs> in the space plane anger, I guess. Yeah, one meter per second is like two point two miles per hour, just over a double. I remember it because I know that um I knew that thirteen meters per second was thirty miles an hour, and I've just used I've just extrapolated everything from that since. I don't know if that's actually right, it might be more like fourteen is thirty miles an hour. Lower the brake force on the front wheel. I don't think the brake force is what affects it. It's when we hit the ground, so the hydraulics. It's just, it's that, it's not the brakes. The, the only way the brakes would kick in is if we braked enough that the whole thing tipped forwards, which I don't think... I mean, maybe... In real life, brakes would make a difference to how much you, you drop down on landing, so maybe. Yeah, we can't really... Well, I say we can't fly this. Actually, we totally can. We get this running again. <laughs> it's a bit of a, it's a little bit of an awkward thing now with with a single propeller blade. But all we got to do is, I mean, actually, if we put this on full power, that might still be okay. The big issue will be taking off. Yeah, now we kind of jump off to the side, so we got to worry about that. Okay, got to drop the gear as we hit the end of the runway. Drop. There we go. And we're in the air. And we're accelerating. It is working. We are now rolling to uh, to this side. I can't even work out which pro which propeller is responsible for that. I think it's the back one. I think the back one has more uh, more say in which way we roll now because it's uh. Still got two blades on it. 
So pushing against the air, providing more resistance, turning the, tra the craft more than the one at the front. Yeah, bit of a shimmy, just a little bit. Now, oh jeez, now let's try and land it again. <laughs> this time without losing any propeller blades. I was like, we could reload it, or I could just fly the thing as it is anyway. We got this. Yeah, I, I, I seem to remember a way of tweaking the suspension, but it might be only in, uh, in the the hangar, not actually while out and about. Because there's a couple of things where, like, you can set the properties of something in the hangar and not while, uh, while actually flying it. Oh, that's the wrong button. Don't pitch when you want. Oh, don't yaw when you want to roll. That's bad. Okay. Cut that. Oh. Cut that. Let's actually select the rotor, not the nose cone. I'm gonna miss the runway. Let's just try and land it anyway. Gear. Okay. Easy. 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 Oh. Let's cut it. Oh. Oh. Nice. Much better. There we go, so this is actually a vaguely decent drone plane. Also, this weird thing happens with the batteries, where slowly over time, little knocks will make the battery shift out of position and stay shifted. Unlike all other parts in the game, I think, these will slowly come out of alignment the more knocks they take and will just stay like that, and that's really weird and confusing. So our plane's kind of leaning forwards a little bit now. Because <laughs> of that, a little bit strange. Proof that they're not bad systems. What systems? Oh, one of the crazy coincidences of, of mathematics and, and metrology. I don't know what metrology is. Oh, I guess the study of measurements. The conversion between, between miles per hour and kilometers per hour is the golden ratio. Neat. <laughs> I didn't know that. There we go. We can just bring this around. We can then use the propeller just to, uh, to pootle about on the ground. There we go. Full power. Just on the front one, it'll just give us a bit of a forward motion without uh, having to worry about taking off. Really, I should have used the back propeller, because this one's making a shimmy all over the place. But it's funnier if we use the front one. Oh, I was a little bit worried there we might lose the... Oh, damn it! Yep, we lost a blade on the back from uh, approaching this on a wonk. Oh, and that front one. Yep, so the clearance of the propellers leave something to be desired. Why are we why are we pulling to the side? Oh, because the the knock made the uh, the batteries misalign sideways and now we turn. Well, there we go. Let's get that one going. Oh god, it's even worse. Speed I don't think we can possibly get up enough speed to uh to fly with this now. We can dream. I think we need something like 50 to take off. Let's just try this. Huh? Yeah. Didn't work. Pfft. Oh, I <laughs> like it just hit the ground there and was fine. And then it wasn't fine that time. Now we are completely out of uh, our propellers. We can't fly this anymore. All right. Revert this. Um, I've got another one. This is just a dumb one. Me being like, okay, I've worked out how propellers work now. How dumb can I make this? And so I made this. I literally took the jet plane that they have as stock in the game and fitted massive propellers to it and then some solar panels and batteries to run the thing. And this totally works. Would it be possible to modify the suspension stop flexing so much? Oh yeah, I was... I should have checked that. Oh well, yeah, I think the propellers can come off on this one too, because there's a lot of suspension stuff in these. But yeah, we can do this. Um, I think this is another one where I have to use this. Let's put torque on like 30. I think that's enough for these ones. There we go. And the spinning. And they're up to speed, just 0.4 below the their top speed, so like, if the torque's not on full power, you can't quite get to like the max one, but it's like tiny fractions of one 
RPM that make no difference. And this does take off. I think we gotta we just gotta go forwards for a while. Just gotta let it uh, let it build up speed and also steer the things. It really likes to veer to the right for whatever reason. All planes seem to want to do that. Oh oh hello. Is it stopped? I don't know what's going on right now. We've gone very weird and floaty. I think, yeah, it's just they've got so fast that it looks like they're not moving, but we are actually going. And it was like just enough lift to kind of go. So we just had a bit of a weird time there. Let's get the gear in. That was weird. I thought there were propeller noises for a second there. Very strange. All right, come on, pull up. Give us some, give us some altitude here. We're having a bit of a struggle actually uh, going at speed like oh no the RPM's not going fully okay now we've got to be careful we've got to just slowly slowly hike these up bit by bit to like 40 so yeah once they were actually when we were actually in the air they weren't quite going anymore should put up to like 50. I think we need it. There we go. Now we're actually at uh, max speed. So yeah, this one is a little bit slower to uh, to accelerate. I'm pretty sure its its flight ceiling is laughably low. But we can always engage the actual engines if we want to. <laughs> I think you once tried a jet-powered hovercraft thing. It didn't work too well. Propellers may serve you better. Or not. It depends. Yeah, helicopters are a thing. And I think that might be the challenge for today. I haven't built a helicopter yet. I kind of want to see if I can. I, well, actually, no. I did kind of build one. And it did kind of work. But it was a cheating helicopter. Uh, oh, yeah. Um, yeah, we are fully charging these propellers as we go. If they were running 100%, I think we couldn't. But... The, the like 50% this is enough solar panels to run the whole thing that was one thing I was worried about they'd make it so that like you couldn't just solar power them unless you like had your craft be mostly solar panels but no it's not that bad you can actually make uh, with relative ease solar powered aircraft that totally can serve proper purposes and so one example that people have been doing is putting planes on uh, on Eve because it's got a super thick atmosphere. You don't even need the plane to be that good. It'll just go. And uh, and yeah, you can just fly it forever, solar powered. Eve is closer to uh, to the sun anyway, so the solar power is very plentiful. And just uh, yeah, make whatever kind of plane you like. Put a bunch of gear on it land it, do the things, do all the science, take off, go somewhere else. So basically, as soon as you can get a plane on EVE, you've won science. You've done all the science. You're just sorted. Alright, I'm not going to try and land this on the island base, because this is a large plane, a small runway. We'll try and land it on the, uh, the main runway. This is holding up fairly well. We're actually getting a decent amount of altitude. I think given time this can get fairly high up, honestly. It's got to really slowly coax it up. And yeah, propellers very rapidly lose their effectiveness as you go, go up. At like 10,000 meters, um, you really start to struggle. If you even have a chance of helicopters working, you're going to have to solve your control system issues. Manually adjusting sliders mid-flight will not work. Yeah, you've got to have like... Um, like hotkeys and stuff bound to it, so I could try and do that. There's, they've got support for that kind of thing. We could maybe test that out. But I did make a cheaty helicopter that doesn't use. Um, yeah, I, like is it an auto gyro? Is auto gyro the one where it's just two propellers above each other? Because that's what I did. It's a cheesy helicopter. It doesn't actually have the uh, the like the blade, the propeller at the back to uh to adjust rotation stuff. But I might try and do one of those. You recorded, edited, and rendered a short compilation of Beb making propeller noises. About to finish uploading in a couple seconds will be linked in Discord. Oh god, the jog man, why? Why would you do this to me? Oh no. 
It's one of those things where I would like it if we uh, if we could do clips like Twitch. It's a shame that we can't. Let me check. If I toggle the brakes, action group. Ah, that does shut down the propellers. Okay, that's good. That is good. Okay. Gear out. We've got to correct a bit. I'm just going to veer sideways to try and line us up nicely. There we go. That's about what we want. Way this way, maybe. Okay. Brakes. Probably did that a bit too late. Oh, wow. Yeah, this thing drops like a brick once the... Uh... Oh, no! Yeah, wow. The moment I cut the propellers, it's just like... And... So, yeah. Uh... Oh, wow. That's floaty. What is that? Oh, it's... I... Damn it. I wonder what that thing was. It was just like, we into the air. Oh dear. Right, that's that one. One more thing that I've made to uh, to show you. Uh, just going to quickly press buttons before you can check what I'm doing. Nobody saw anything. Nobody say anything in chat about what the name of this craft may be. <laughs> and, uh... Let's launch it. So this is a normal jet. It's a bit loud. Tell me if it's too loud. I can drop the volume because, wow, this is making a lot of noise. So this takes off relatively easily. Uh, yeah, yeah. There it is. Relatively easily compared to the propeller-based variant. Anyway. God, yeah, this is a bit noisy. Hang on, can I just, like, settings? I just drop the whole volume 10% and then spacecraft, like, another... another bit. That's better. Okay. We're gonna climb this thing to a normal altitude. But I have similar issues with... Autogyro is an unpowered helicopter main rotor, rotor and a big old fan in the back. Top rotor spins due to forward momentum. Oh. Wacky. Yeah, that's weird. So that's where the auto comes from in Autogyro. All right, we're at 3,000 meters. Let's level it off a nice bit. I'm also going to lower the throttle. I tried to slide it like it's a slider. I'm going to lower the throttle. 50%. I'm going to open the hatch at the back. And I, I really hope this works, because I've spent so much time trying to make this thing actually do the thing. Oh god, it's got stuck. No, no, don't don't be stuck. Don't be stuck. No, no, no. No, damn it. This didn't happen when I tested it. No. Oh, oh, there it is. The plane. It's a plane in a plane. And it folds out into a proper plane. And it's propeller powered, because why not? I put a plane in a plane. And I've done this before, I have done this on a previous stream, but in that one, everything just had to fit in that tube. Now I can make it so the plane actually folds out when it deploys. And now we have a plane, and also that thing is just crashing, because I lowered the throttle and below what it could, uh, it could really support. Which is good, because the jet still makes noise like it's right next to me, even though it's not. So I hope that thing crashes already. I, know it's, I think it's leveling off. Ah, oh, no. It's gonna fly forever. Well. Okay. Let's bring it around and take it home. Because this is on, uh... 
You can see the the wings wobble a bit because it's on a uh, on a hinge. Uh, uh, okay, yep. Steering this thing is a challenge. Somewhat easy to get it into a flat spin at times. Okay, come on, turn, turn. There we go. Eventually, it works it out. Oh no 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 no! Oh, they just I. I tried to yaw, and it just... Yep, okay. And pull up. Everything's fine. As we were. That thing's just flying up into the distance. So yeah, this is a deployable plane. I also put propose on the back, because it's, it's cool. And the way you did this, because you notice they're stacked. So, this one... Speed is, uh, 460. This one... Uh, uh, mm, if I can actually click on the rotor... 230. So between them, they're not actually spinning at full speed, but they balance each other out, the rotation is, is perfectly uh, negated, so the thing stays perfectly level, doesn't roll anywhere, and uh, we get two propellers worth of thrust. Oh, I guess, technically it's one. Because, like, you could achieve the same amount of thrust with one rotor, but then the thing would flip out sideways. Because I've got two of them that are both essentially spinning at half speed, we get uh, the thrust without the rolling issues. And also, I put these wheels on here because I have serious issues with landing this thing. Um, it really likes to uh, to clip the ground with its wings, so I put those on. Also, this has so many wheels. I realized what went wrong. I, I, I brought the gear in. Oh, there we go. It despawned, or it just went out of range. Yeah, I realized what went wrong with deploying it. Um, the gear... I put the gear in when uh, when flying the big plane. That made the gear go in on this, and the gear is what makes it deploy. Honestly, I don't know how the hell this thing made it out of the uh, out of the hangar in one piece without these wheels. Because half the time spent, no, most of the time spent devi um, devising this plane was spent putting more bloody wheels on it so that it didn't clip the 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 cargo bay on its way out and lose wings. That was the big issue I was having. Apparently, just not having gear at all works just as well. Don't know why. <laughs> How weird. But yeah, I had to keep adding more and more wheels till finally it would just bounce off the hangar, the yeah, the, the cargo bay, instead of hitting it with wings and having them come off. And then I liked that I forgot to deploy the gear the first time round, and then it just came out fine anyway, apart from the fact where it got stuck for a bit. But then it got unstuck, so it worked out. <laughs> There we go, planes despawn, stop making all that horrible noise. Probably had zero G when leaving. Well, the thing is that I still had the engines going. So, uh, like, on, on the cargo plane, which is deliberate so that the cargo plane actually pulls away from the, the, uh, the mini plane. But, uh... Yeah, it got, like, caught, and then... But what normally happens is I... I throttle down the engines, I deploy the thing, and on the way out, this catches, or one of these catches, or I lose a whole bunch of these front ones here. And then every now and then the giant wing goes. But that's actually relatively rare, funnily enough. Also, I believe you can still fly this with the, uh... the wings in... Oh, actually, though, I think... Yeah, they don't stop, they just keep going. Oh no, 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 go back, go back! Oh jeez, okay, yeah, so you can't, um... You can't let them, uh, go all the way, or your plane suddenly becomes very much not aerodynamic. Noted. Noted. Try landing upside down? I mean, I guess I have enough gear for it. Uh, no, actually, I would, uh, I'd have to land, like, if I landed on those two, I think it would catch the cockpit, and if I landed on that, it would try and roll sideways to that wheel, but before then it would get to the, the wing, so I can't actually do that. We're almost there. See so, yeah, this, this goes at a sedate 65 meters per second, and that's, that's going down. Actually, keeping level is slower, I think. Yep, more like 62. Slow and steady, but um, it completely charges itself. 
even with the the torque just on on full pelt works fine oh overshot the runway wasn't paying attention bring it around easy I'm gonna just cut the torque to these don't want to just slam on the brakes because that'll cause issues on actual landing okay okay oh oh easy 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 it's very floaty when it lands so it wants to uh oh no oh there we go yes yes the side wheels they worked that's my first time using those side wheels um yeah what normally happens is the wings fall off but uh this time it's worked pretty well hey i can go anywhere now actually this is easy using these side wheels neat there we go i want to fold these in and see where they go Yep, there we go. <laughs> Completely reversed. Oh, it's like an attack thing. Oh, it's a sci-fi ship. Put those back around. But there we go. A little deployable plane, which can now <laughs> maneuver quite ridiculously on land. Awesome. KSP and physics has always had a touchy relationship. Hmm. Got down at the Jogman, so I just realized that so far no one has lost the game, but you know what that means. Why the Jogman, why? Why would you do this to us? Oh, look at that nice pattern. With the propellers, they're perfectly lined up. Alright, and this thing can take off again. Let's, oh, if I can get to the rotor, let's try that. Rotor 1, Rotor 2. And after a fashion... Oh, the issue though is it likes to turn still. So it carries on wanting to do that while you're on the runway. That's dangerous. And oh jeez, it makes that happen. Thank God for these wings. Oh jeez, uh, they're not enough. They're not enough! Okay. I rescind my previous statement, this thing cannot take off. What it can do is just never actually fully explode because it's got so many wheels. Of course, if it hits a building... Oh no, it's still doing okay. We've lost a couple of propeller blades, let's check. What are we looking at? Oh, broke some more. Um, yeah, we're down two on the front one and three on the back one. Oh dear. Yeah. Uh, 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 oh, oh dear. Oh, it's gone weird. There we go, we're upright. But we don't have very many blades left now. Bring around this way. No, I can't, can't get it to work. Okay, this, this plane is done. This plane is done. It's a plane with training wheels. <laughs> yep, yeah it is. Oh dear. Only thing I can fly. And even then, apparently not. We got five blades left out of twelve. I think this is a this is a bust. Okay, revert to space plane hangar. Okay. Now, let me actually. I'm gonna hop out of this. I'm gonna hop into a different one because I believe I have. Wait, no. I'm. This wasn't hopping out into a different one. I just hopped to the main menu. What am I doing? That's all the ones in here that I've got. But in a different save, I did some more testing another day, and then I loaded the wrong save and made all those in it. So. I think if I wait forever for this to load, what the hell have I clicked on? Planes! And only planes. We're going to say planes, trains, and automobiles, but no only planes. Um, yeah, if I resume this one, that might be the one with my helicopter in it. And this was me before I got the hang of, of uh, propellers normally, so this one's even more of a janky mess. If it's in here. Uh, oh, there's a failed plane. Oh! Oh, hold on. Okay, so I made this and gave up because I didn't get how the propellers worked. Now that I know how they work, I can totally make this actually a functional plane. Uh, just gotta deploy all the propellers. 
I, that's the only thing I was missing with this, that I need to hit deploy on these. Um, and I have to invert these ones. Though they don't seem to have done that. Oh, no, there we go. Do that. Uh, deploy like that. Is that right? No, hold on. Where's it going to spin to? No, that's not right either. Okay, maybe I haven't quite got this worked out. Uh... Yeah, this isn't set up properly. You know what? I give up on this one. It is a failed plane. Um, you've already seen planes. It doesn't matter. That does mean this is the correct save, though. So, if I can find... My helicopter. Apparently I didn't save it, it's just my autosave thing here. Okay, here it is. This is my helicopter. <laughs> Let's fly it. I remember I kind of managed to make it actually uh, fly somewhere. Okay, so... Yep, that happens, but then we activate the other one. Spins the opposite way. Activate the SAS and the actual center of the craft slows down and we have we have a crappy helicopter um, controlling the thrust is a nightmare the direction also a bit of a nightmare but we can kind of send it in the right direction there we go let's see if we can land it on the VAB whenever we're going to land it on the VAB actually I might be able to because I remember when I shut down the propellers on this it drifts down really slowly so let's just uh, steer this way <laughs> it only has one direction of thrust it just has up you have to just turn up sideways to go sideways but it's working oh no no wrong way my controls are inverted is that better no that's not better <laughs> Uh, uh. Oh jeez, oh this is a mess. This is an abomination to science. But I think it can maybe get it to land on the VAB if I'm really careful. Okay, okay, wait, wait. And up, 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 up. No wait, no, down, wrong way. Damn it, everything's inverted. This way, this way. Okay, and... A thing's come with my monitor. Go away. There we go. This way a bit more. And there. I think that's about where we want to be. Then... We just... No, that's not it. The rotor. There. No, that's not the rotor. Rotor. Shut down. Shut down. And then just kind of direct it where I think it needs to go. Oh, that's backwards, actually. This way. This way. Yeah, this thing just kind of carries on spinning for ages. Doesn't make pretty patterns. Also, I like, I've just put in chat, VTOL from Launchpad to VAB is the challenge for this stream. I think I'm about to do that, so maybe we need another one. Just gotta, just gotta try and get it dead on. We're still going up, but way slower. If I just hit B break there we go and now we're dropping and that is a bit of a problem in and of itself but if we give ourselves a tiny bit of torque like one one singular torque and already our speed is very slow okay slightly more torque like five 
Oh, that's six. Nope, five. Okay, just to slow our descent and give us some control. That's not it. Oh dear. No, 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 no. I'm trying to get towards the helipad, but everything is inverted, so it's not it's not really happening. Okay, and then this. Extend. I missed. I tried to extend it. I missed. I've done that now. <laughs> okay, so uh, it's on its side. But if I really go for it, I might be able to flip it back upright. Nope, that's not... Oh, 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 oh! Oh, it fell again. Actually, if we give them a bit more torque, we can can use that. See, I tried to extend the, the landing thing that I randomly have built on this. I put a piston on it. I don't know why. Okay. Nope, that's backwards. God, I need to... Right, control that way. That's the way I want it to be. I think... Wait, no. Hold on. No, that's sideways. There. That's what I want. Now it's actually looking up. Okay, come on. Uh, uh, uh. Okay. Okay, we're upright. We are upright. And the blades are spinning up. Oh god, this is gonna be a mess. Also, the upper one definitely needs more... Oh, no, it's working, actually. There we go. <laughs> what have I done? What have I made? What has science wrought? Now, let's see if we can land on the bloomin' VAB. Okay, slow it down again. Give us, like, five. You can be at, like, eight. Seven. Okay, then we want to point north. Yep. And then... This way. Nope, nope. Come on. Just dead south. Here. I just want to be up. Just point us up. Oh, that's not up. What are you doing? Why are you spinning? No! I'm not telling you to spin. It refuses to point up. This is a problem. This is a significant problem. Oh dear. I think it's got that thing where it doesn't want to point directly where it's going. Or something. Okay. Brakes. Stop the whole thing. Give it a tiny amount. And we de we now need definitely some extra... Also, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to extend that. That seems like a good idea. Oh, no, we've gone past. We're going past right now. We're going to land... Uh-oh. Oh, that's the worst place to land. We're just going to hit both our blades on the wall. Yep, there it goes. Okay, so that was my crappy helicopter. Now, if we make a good one, we might be able to land there with actual vague ease. It almost looks like flapping wings. That is also presumably a thing that you can do in this game now. Okay. Oh, now we can just, uh... Eh. 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 I love that this works. I love that this is genuinely pushing us along just a little bit. Eh. Eh. If we balance it upon this, it's going to give us even more. Eh, there we go, look at that. Eh. Eh. With this, we can go anywhere. Okay, let's, um, let's go back to the space plane hangar. I don't know what to call this. What kind of helicopter even is this? Presumably there's a kind of helicopter that this is. Oh dear. It's like an automatic pair of scissors. I like people showing up to the stream like, what is happening? What What are you doing? Why are you like this? This can be the Wattcopter. Here we go. Safe. Right, let's start again. 
let's try and make an actual proper helicopter. This will go wrong, but let's do it anyway. Um, ooh, let's start with a, with a cupola. That can be the front of it. That's neat. Wait, how much does that weigh? Um, two tons. It'll be fine. Then we need uh, basically just like an empty cargo thing. We want something light. So I could just use an empty fuel tank, or I could maybe get a structural thing. I could put a lab on there. They they are heavy. They are large, very heavy. Engine plates might be able to serve that purpose. I don't really know how they work. That's the wrong size of fuselage. Oh, there we go. Structural tubes. This one, I believe we want. Oh, no. This one. Yeah, I forgot they were a thing now. Tubes. Long tube. And then on the back, we need some kind of tailplane looking thing. Uh, we got to bear in mind where the center of mass is. Okay, right. It's in the cupola right now. Very definitely. So that's something we got to work on. Uh, I think there's a kind of fuel tank that I can get, which is exactly what I'm looking for. This. Boom. Now this is heavy as anything. Let's get rid of the fuel. Better. Then we can do another thing. Aerodynamics. Advanced nose cone. Boop. Okay. Then we need the helicopter bit. The bit, the bit that does the spinning. We want a radial attachment port as close to straight above the center of mass as we can. We can always adjust it later as more things are added and the mass shifts. Then we need robotics. We need a rotor. Now, I think I could maybe just do the heavy rotor. I don't know that we need one of these engines. I don't know what the uh, the strength of them is. Uses liquid fuel and intake air. You can see they're definitely built for it. Oh, they, they even mount on the top of the on the top of the thing. Maybe we should actually use one of these then, even though it does use fuel. Yeah, this looks like the stronger one. Let's do the stronger one. I don't know if we need it, but we're doing it anyway. Let's use this. Stick that on the front. So yeah, the intakes are there and there. I I don't even. I guess the intakes are there and then that's out like exhaust or whatever. Then uh, attach nodes, quad. And then helicopter blades, the biggest ones. Uh, oh, no, I don't want that kind of symmetry. That kind of symmetry. And then, come on. There. Okay, so we'll have the, uh, the rotor at the back be lower so this doesn't get in the way. Uh, deploy. Nope, that's wrong. Deploy that way. Your pitch and roll controller active. Don't know what that'll do to us, really. What direction does this spin? Clockwise? Correct. Okay. We'll just put motor size maximum. Then we need the tail rotor. This is where it gets weird. I guess we should have this, like, fuel powered too. I'm just clicking random things like I'm going to find it. we put that in the side, but it's a bit chunky. We'll just do a battery powered one. That's probably fine. He says. Oh, these don't stick on, right? Hmm. Is the tiniest one? Oh, there's a tinier one. Okay, that it's being very weird. I don't want it at this weird, wonky angle. Why have you done this? There, level and sideways. Um, it needs to extend out a bit, or it's kind of going to clip through everything else. Okay, it's slightly floating. Oh, so is that the right direction? I should really check that. This is going to be spinning this way. The whole thing's going to want to spin this way. We've got to have it pushing away. So actually, we kind of want it reversed to where it is. But, whatever. 
Actually, no, that works fine. Doesn't make a difference, really. Nope, I accidentally clicked it. Oh no, it's positioning's ruined. Yeah, there. Okay, that works. Uh, yep, double attach nodes is fine. Rotation direction, clockwise. And then the tiniest blade. No, that's not. That's a helicopter. But the tiniest blade. We'll see if this is enough. I'm pressing all the wrong buttons right now. There. Wait, no. It needs to be... How am I using the same buttons over and over? Ah! Is that the way? No. This way. Okay. And... Why is it trying to connect the other blade? What the... No. What is this? That's not what I want. Uh, I'm just going to stick you on the front to build you and then we'll work it out. Just get, just, get another one. Okay. Boop. And then where to put the blades? There they are. I need to see which way round they are, but they're so tiny. There we go. Is that the way? Yes, that is the way. Okay. Now put it back over on the side where it's having a weird time. There, go up there for the second. And then I'll just reposition it as needed. Boop. Out so that I think the, the blades have clearance already. It looks like it. Nice. And it still has some contact with the rest of the of the vessel. So gotta remember this thing spins this way, so the whole thing wants to spin this way, so we have to push this way. That's the direction we're going. Um I do need these reversed. Actually gonna rotate them. Nope, that's borked it. Ah! Undo. Flip the whole damn thing around. And just send it to the other side. I don't know why I didn't do this earlier. There. Okay, pulling this way. So it's going to be rotating... I'm going to move the camera now. Now we see where these props torque so much, those blades might as well be water wheel. Oh, this is the non-deployed. If you deploy it, then they go into the proper configuration. I don't know why you need to deploy the propellers for them to work. I don't get what the point of that is, but you do need to. So that's what we have to do. I, I don't I don't know. This needs to spin clockwise. It's already doing that. Okay. Technically, this is already, but obviously we're going to have to make major adjustments to everything. Um, once we're actually out and about. But we can do the testing, like, in the field. Next thing is to make the landing stuff. We do want to make him landing legs, I guess. Unfortunately, you can't make runners. They're not a thing. So we'll just have to put actual landing legs on. Uh, uh, mm, yeah. There it is. Doop and doop. And yeah, it looks like the rotor is still basically a above the center of mass. Needs a slight adjustment. Oh, luckily, this thing basically di dictates where the center of mass is on this thing. There. No, not quite. I think that's it. Pretty sure it's lined up. Okay. 
It looks ridiculous. But we're gonna try fly it. I don't know. I don't know what I was gonna say. I was gonna try and justify it somehow. Well, I was gonna say, but it works. But that is not true. <laughs> um, oh, I've just realized we need fuel. Because this is fuel powered. Oops. Right, I guess we're good. Oh, no, 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 don't do that. Control Z. <laughs> How did I even click on that? I guess we're going to put some side mounted fuel tanks because I forgot to put tanks on it before. There we go. Just hang them there. That's fine. They're in line with that, so as the fuel burns, the uh, the thing will stay stable. If it's stable to begin with, we shall see. Let's try flying it and see what happens. Okay. Like how the engine to the cockpit is at the very top, making it extremely dangerous to enter slash exit when the props are moving at all. It's a v yeah, very Kerbal design. <laughs> okay. Yep, immediately we're getting... Okay, oh, we're in the air! I wasn't ready for this! Oh no! Hold on, I've got a... This is a problem. If I switch... Oh, Jesus! To chase camera? No, it's not happening. Locked camera? There! Well, it's too late now because we're about to crash. But I can now actually select this. All right, so wow, that um, that's powerful. We don't need it anywhere near max speed to be in the air, as it turns out. Oh dear, you're sorry for sending us down this rabbit hole? Wait, what rabbit hole? Is this about the propeller noises? Oh god, okay. Let's put you at full pelt first. And use barely any of our power, so that's good. It'll run for a while. Okay, whoop, steady, steady. Ease into it. Okay, the propeller on the back isn't enough. It's not enough. It can't deal. <laughs> um, it needs more power. It needs more power. Just, uh, just revert. And, uh... I don't know, more, more blades might be enough to start with? Wouldn't we just make it an a, a eight blade setup? There. And I think the positioning of those is incorrect. So actually I need to... Do that first. Then deploy. That's correct. Yeah, more propellers I think might help because it's got more than enough torque. I don't really know. We're just gonna test it and see what happens. Double the main rotor and have the second spinning counter uh, to negate the torque. Oh yeah, just have the rear rotor be for um, changing direction. Hmm. Okay, power that up. There we go. That <laughs> gave it a bit of welly. And let's just slowly like torque up like five. It's all we need apparently. Okay. Oh, oh, lifting, lifting. Oh, oh, it's it's too much now. Okay. It. it <laughs> I gotta select it because I don't have any any hotkeys set up. Okay, switching to locked again. We've definitely got some serious issues with writing. Okay, lower the RPM. Too late. There's no engine anymore. Okay, okay, we're we're. Oh, I shouldn't have gone back to space plane hangar. Maybe I should actually. Clearly needs a bit of work. Um, you know what I'm going to do is I'm going to slap a whole bunch of SAS modules on this.
to help with some stabilization in the meantime, then we can just use our readout of, of like what corrections are having to be made to actually make changes rather than see what way the thing is flipping out madly. Seems like the better option. Okay. SAS on. We'll switch you to like... 360 RPM. Spin it up. And then... Super low torque. Spin you up. And let's see if the SAS can actually deal with anything. Okay, lifting off. We tip to the side. Oh, 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 okay, okay. There was tipping back and now suddenly there's tipping forwards. That's very strange. It's like, it's it's not like it's trying to veer in any one direction. It's just inherently unstable. Interesting. It just wants to fall over. Doesn't care what direction. We do seem to have a helicopter, though. I mean, it's definitely not perfect, but we do seem to have a helicopter. It is... Oh, no. Okay, the blades have got too fast, I think, on the top. we got to limit them. Uh, oh, we got to limit them a lot. Okay. A hundred. I feel like a hundred is enough. Okay, okay. Let's try and be steady. Try and be steady. Why does it want to just randomly flip sideways so much? That's not... Okay, we're going too slow, it turns out. More than a hundred. Way more than a hundred. Oh! Damn it. Oh, it's still going, though. It lives. Oh, God. Oh, dear. It had no fuel, so. <laughs> All right. We're honing in on a functional design. RPM limit like 150. Let's try that. We seem to have the rotation dead on, surprisingly. That seemed to be okay. Also, I'm going to reduce the motor output massively. Because we clearly don't need it to be high at all. Um, as for this one... Oh yeah, we need to actually put the limit on it by default. Okay. The center of mass again. Let us try launching this again. I'm not comfortable calling this helicopter, but okay. Listen, I don't know what the definition of a helicopter is, but it looks like one. And it vaguely flies like one. Okay. Full power to you. Put you on like 10. Which is now a reasonable amount of torque. Oh yeah, and let's, uh, let's lean it back a bit and SAS on when we do so. Uh, like that. Uh, it's, on the, it's on the toggle thing. It's on SAS is being overwhelmed by inputs. It won't stop doing that, interestingly. Oh, oh, oh. Okay, we're in the air. We are in the air. It wants to lean back, seemingly. Oh, no, now it wants to lean forwards. Again, it's like it just is unstable. It doesn't care what direction it's going in, as long as it's not straight up. Okay, the engine is pulling us just a little bit sideways, so let's Slow that down to, like, 340. Okay. And we'll just try and keep this steady. Oh, oh, hello. Yep, it's just doing all sorts of weird stuff. Let's face back this way. What way is it trying to yaw? Still pulling. Oh, oh, keep it, keep it steady. It's like it just gets more and more unstable over time. 330. Still pulling to the side a bit. 320. Still pulling to the side a bit. 310. 300. Just constantly still pulling, and again, less and less stable. Anyone got any ideas how you make a helicopter more stable? I feel like there's some. This is some kind of design flaw inherent to helicopters. Oh well, like, like, I feel like this is some kind of design flaw that was overcome in the early days of helicopters in order to make them work, but I don't know it. So, oh dear, there's lots of videos of me being made apparently. Uh, 
the oh the back prop causes it to roll because it's higher than the center of mass. Ah. Oh, well, center of mass moving up as fuel is burned. Oh, fuel's barely... Oh, wow, we don't need all this fuel. Look at this. We don't need, like... We need one tiny tank of the stuff. I can probably just put a tiny bit of fuel in this, and we'll be good. I don't need these fuel tanks on the side. Okay. Yeah, it's still pulling to the to the side a tiny bit. Okay, I think we got it at 275. But again, if I just stop holding the controls, it just gets... It just flows around and around. It just does this. It doesn't stay up. And it gets more and more off-kilter. The way it's going more off-kilter is because of the back prop. It's leaning way more over to the, to the left than the right, he says. Maybe not. Hmm. Oh, the other fuel tank's the same. They they drain equally. I'm just reading all your uh your advice. <laughs> I think to control this properly, you'd need a flight stick, pedals, and a collective. <laughs> Oh, there we go. Oh, look at this. So we've got so unstable we dropped, but the dropping has stabilized us. Interesting. Oh, we've run out of fuel. Why are we dropping so fast? Please stop dropping so fast. Well. The torque wasn't enough for us to actually, like, spin, I think. It was a little bit weird. I don't know what that was about. That was strange. Okay, let's get us moving. Uh, let's drop you to the 275 we found is good. What if I just torque to max? Oh, that yeah, that sends us flying. Okay, RPM limit. Oh no, this is this is beyond the the ability of an RPM limit to fix. Oh dear. Oh dear. Oh dear. Well, we're we're alive. <laughs> we have no moving parts anymore. Oh wait. Oh look. It's propelling us. It's a wheel. Oh dear. We'll revert to space plane hangar and do some modifications. Seemed like a stall. Yeah, I think that was what that was. So now we've got to worry about that as a thing that can happen to this. Okay, 275. This is fine. Um, fuel, get rid of it. We'll keep those tanks on because they're attachments for our SES. Also, I realize we need some fuel. I should probably have a bit of fuel in there. Like... That's the minimum amount I can have, 40, which is still way more than we need. Oh, I should have lowered the, the back prop. Whoops. We'll try it this time anyway. Okay. Steady. Oh, that's interesting. If we lean back, we just kind of fly back. Right, off we go. Uh, we actually need more power in the rear rotor now. Probably because we're going up. So what's our current speed? Yeah, it's not 150. Let's lower our top speed, 130. That is still... we're going up. Now, oh, can we direct it a bit? Oh, oh, mm -mm. It loves to just kind of flip sideways. I feel this is stable enough to give the VAV a shot. Oh, he says, and then it starts flailing. Yeah, I think we can give the VAV a shot. Slow the RPM a little bit more. That's too much. 125. Okay. We're going. We're, we're kind of going. I'm not going to bring the gear in. That's just another thing to think about when I try and land. So I've realized, after all this time, all these years, those helicopter pads can finally be used for actual helicopters, if we can just fly the damn things. Yeah, every time I tip down, it veers to... it tries to, like, roll 
to the right, and I'm guessing that's an interaction of the propeller on the back. That would make some sense. Or maybe it's the front one, actually. It's hard to say. Okay, we need to slow down. Let's drop oh, 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 to 115. I don't know what, like, hover height... Uh, what, not, what hover velocity is for the, uh, the propellers. I need to work that out. Still going up right now. I think... Oh yeah, 100 is going to be too much. 105, let's try that. Still rising. Very stable now. Relatively. Okay, drop it to 100. Still rising, okay. Drop it to 90. It's causing issues with the rear propeller because, of course, as this gets slower, this is um, going to pull us more. So actually, what I think I want to do is adjust this down a bit more because we want this to negate, like, hover height, hover speed. That's what we want it to favor, I think. Okay, we are still going up, so let's reduce this a little bit more. 75. Let's push it a bit. Now this surely is enough to drop. There we go, we are going down. Okay, maybe a bit quick. Bit quick. Yep, that's a stall. Okay, up. More speed. Lots more speed. God damn it. Torque. <laughs> I w it torques an issue. I've just realised it's because of the. Uh, oh, hello. Are you gonna? Are you gonna? Are you gonna? Are you gonna? <laughs> Damn it! Oh no! <laughs> oh dear! I realised the issue was that the torque was too low. So at a certain point, it it was stalling because it could the blades just couldn't keep up to speed. It wasn't the um. It wasn't the speed that was the issue, it was the torque. And I didn't realize that in time. And now we've blown up the space plane hangar. Let's pretend that never happened. Control groups will be a good help. Yeah, I, I need to work those out. But I'm just trying to kind of get this... I feel like I can get this working with the buttons for now. Maybe that's, uh, maybe that's a mistake. Okay, gonna lower this to 250. Gonna limit this to like 120. Maybe not even that. Right, launch. I forgot again! Like, lowering the rear props so it stops being a pain. I'm a monster? What? Why? Oh, because I keep using the basic, the, the standard sliders. I should do a big boom that blows up all the buildings at once. I don't think I can do that. I can blow up any one building you want, uh, like, easily enough, but blowing the whole thing up, n that's more of a an issue. I don't think I can do that. Someone can probably do that. I bet that's a challenge someone's completed for themselves. All right, so just torque on max. That's the way to do it. Then the propeller will do what we want it to. Um, that's not what we want. Oh, SAS. There we go. Yeah, right now we need SAS to stabilize. Or we die. Oh jeez. Come on. Come on. Be, be, just point just point up. Just face up. There we go. It's having an issue. It's, it's still having an issue, honestly. Okay. Okay. We're going up. Let's reduce the RPM. Yeah, I like, think for a mo the moment you reduce the RPM, it just tries to sw uh, switch to that very suddenly. So the helicopter just spins when you uh, when you change the speed. That's fun. Okay, let's try flying towards the VAB. Go, attack. Okay, this is working. We're even keeping a level altitude. Go for a stronger angle of attack. More speed. 
I'm okay with us dropping down. We'll go up again anyway as we slow down and line up for the thing. Uh, rolling to the right on pitching forward is a gyroscopic effect from the spinning mess, not the back prop. Oh, so I can't fix it. I mean, there's probably some fancy way of fixing it, but I can't fix it easily. Okay, and drop to... 80. 75 even, apparently. Sure. Okay. Now, all we have to do... is stay lined up. Oh, that's too fast. Oh, this is a time where you need action groups. Oh, no! Well, I like how it instantly ended there. Weird. Okay. Space plane hangar. Let's lower the back prop, in case it matters. Actually, where even is the center of mass? Yeah, it's practically there already. Uh, I'm just gonna cheat and just float it down there. And we'll deal with the particulars later. That seems about right. Maybe it is just slightly down. Yeah, yeah that's what we want. Okay. So that's in position. Um, and looks silly, but whatever. What else do we need? Shall I try the action groups? I can try working this out. Okay. Ah, yeah, this pitch yarn rolled stuff. Good. How will I tie these together? Can I... Like... Yeah, all there is is the authority limiter. Wait, no, that's good. We want that. We want that on... Main throttle. That should work. Can I do, like, a test? How do I know which way is the... It doesn't let me actually see what way the blades move when I do the thing. Okay. But yeah, I think that allows us to control the thrust of the prop. And then we just have it as a set speed and then modify the angle of the propellers. Or the blades or whatever you call them. To, uh, to go up and down, that kind of thing. Uh, a tailplane under the tail rotor might help stability. Yeah, I could stick some, some control surfaces on this. Like, yeah, I can't put one above, but I can put one below. Nope, I, oh, I had it! No, I had it! Ah, I've lost it! No! Uh, I hate these. There we go. This, this, ah, that's a bit of a mess. I don't want that. <laughs> Looks silly. Like that. Does that work? And then some more. Like, let's do like at the top and then duplicate them down. That's something. That's some control of some kind, maybe. Uh, then there's this. We can possibly link... I just realised I could have actually... I was clicking on the wrong thing before. You can, you can put the RPM limit on there. So really I should do that. Yeah, forget the authority limiter, just put an RPM limit on the throttle. Then on yaw, put RPM limit on there. Controller input incrementally increase or decrease the value of this field. Keyboard keys increase or decrease depending on time pressed. Yes. I think I want that rather than absolute control. Uh, was there an option for that with the other one? No, there wasn't. Why not? I mean, it's because only I control the main throttle, but for pitch, raw, and yaw... 
pitch, yarn, roll. Did I use... I don't know what I said there, but I don't think it was pitch, yarn, roll. Um, for those, I think the, like, the SAS controls them, so that might be why that's different. Also, why is it selected three blades? I don't want blade selected. Stop selecting blades. That's weird. Yeah, okay, that's the, that's the basic stuff set up. I don't know what else there is I want to set up. What does... What does the authority limiter do? Does that affect anything other than up and down? I'm wondering if that's a thing in helicopter piloting. We need helicopter pilots in, in the chat. I don't know if there are any. No control services, just a plane to limit lateral movements. Oh, okay. I, okay, yeah, I said pitch, raw, and yol. I was wondering. <laughs> I did a spooner. Um, that would be very awkward to, to make happen on my stream setup. The Jogman, it's already bootstrapped together as it is with KSP not playing ball with OBS. Mostly up and down fine control. Okay, I think, like, we'll achieve that with... The RPM limit modifications anyway, so I think we're fine there. Yeah. Okay, I can turn these off as control surfaces. Maybe wait, no, I need to get off this menu. Uh oh, you can Oh, I didn't know you could do this with control surfaces. That's weird. Huh. Yeah, just turn off their uh their control. There we go. Now they're just surfaces. In real helicopters, it's automatic. That's the thing, is that some of the work is, I imagine, done for you in real life helicopters, but not here. I'm not Irish, Wraith G2. I am Northern. I'm from up north, but my accent has, uh, has faded over time due to me spending so much time on the internet and interacting with... Uh, with people from the south and from other places in the United Kingdom and also people in the uh, in the US. So over time, I've lost this accent and become a lot more normal, kind of generic. It's not, there's no location that this accent is tied to. But back in day, I sounded like a proper northerner. But not anymore. It's, it's a shame. I have lost it. Watching my older videos, you will hear the difference. It's quite funny. Okay. I realize the propellers on the back may be clipping through the, uh... Oh, no, they're not. There we go. Yeah, they're not clipping through the thing. Right. Activate. Activate more steadily. Slowly. Power that up. Oh, why are we spinning like this? Oh, because the RPM limit is now maxed. No! No, why would you do this? Okay, it turns out it's now slaved to the thing. It doesn't like... I was hoping it would start in the middle. Not at max. I don't... God damn it. Revert to launch. We'll try that again. That's a thing. I wonder, is this now at max as well? No, that stayed at a normal level. God damn it. Okay, yeah. Lower this. To like there. And now we can do this properly. Power it up. Power it up. Oh, I didn't put SAS on. Oh, geez. Everything's fine. Everything's fine. Everything's fine. It's not fine. Oh, oh damn it. For a second, I thought we were going to recover, but we did not. What went wrong? What went wrong that time? Let's try launching again. People keep asking if you're British and your respo and your response is, have you ever heard a British person speak? I think that's the thing in the US is that if they hear an accent they don't recognize, like, is that it? Is that British? Are you from England? Like, no, I'm just from a different part of the same country. Okay. 
Oh, wait, no. It's Again, it's on ridiculous speed. Way down. Oh, and I, again, I forgot SAS. Damn it, what did we lose? Oh, we lost that tank on the back. That's probably not good. Or not the back, on the side. Well, I wonder if this will still fly. Oh, oh. Totally still flies. Oh, okay, never mind. Right, why have things got worse? What's gone wrong? Power up. Let's give this a bit of oomph. Just slowly crank it up. SAS, gotta remember that. And off we go. Okay, immediately... We're, we're tilting back. Way back. Whoa! Why are we tilting back so much? What is this? That's new! It just... Just gone. I don't... I lost SA yet? Oh, yeah. <laughs> just take that old video and yeah, your accent has changed. Yep! It's it's very clear to for all to hear. Okay. Way down. In fact, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm just gonna go in my settings. Uh is it gonna be in here. Gameplay. Damn, it's not here. There's um there's an option that appears in some menus, which is what the throttle is set at the start. I need to be set at zero so I know to up it. So I hit, I hit go and nothing happens. <laughs> I'm wondering if this being lower down is actually what's causing the trouble. Maybe it's meant to be higher. Okay, SAS on. Full power on that. Okay, okay. Yep, it's it's really it's really pulling back. It's really pulling back. Okay, now it's not, okay. It's doing something. Oh, pulling back again. It's it's another thing where it's like it's interacting with the uh with the prograde marker. It doesn't wanna go forwards. Whatever direction the, the helicopter is moving in, it tilts in a different way. Which is a problem. Makes the thing impossible to control, because you end up just flipping backwards and stalling. Oh no. Oh dear. Lost a lot of it that time. It's still going though. It's going to keep going until either the fuel supply or the propeller blade breaks. The two control surfaces I put on the top are affecting the center of lift. That could be it. Where should I put them then? Where will help? I don't wait to the rear without moving the rotors above the center of mass. Uh, yeah, maybe. But not that much weight. Does it, would it really make a difference? It might be that that was why it was leaning back a bit more than it was doing anything else, but then the instability was the whole- Oh, yeah, it is way off. Never mind. Huh. And also, the center of lift no longer lines up with the actual center of these blades, and I don't know whether I need it to line up or not. Uh, that's a problem. I feel like it, it does need to be the center of these blades lining up. So we'll do that. And then we'll go again. I know it's way too much torque. I know. Oh yeah, a quadcopter would be easier to get working. I could do like a VTOLI propellery planey thing. In fact, I could use uh, servos to have propellers that lift me up and then go forwards into a plane. I need to do that. That would be awesome. We need to do that next. That's what we'll do after this. 
Okay, uh... Way down. And I'll put the torque on less, I guess. I'm just worried because having the torque low last time meant that, uh... It stalled. I should have SAS on, that's important. Okay. Stability issues still, but way less than before. Let us go forth. Oh, oh yeah, and immediately veering to the side. Okay, we're we're kind of going. We're we're doing the thing. We are heading towards the VAB. Just having to constantly fight the urge for this thing to spin. But we are doing the thing. Keep an eye on fuel and charge. Yeah, charge is an issue. We need to get some solar panels on this. We probably don't need many. It's one small rotor. Going full tilt, admittedly, but... Oh yeah, let's click on this and then let's have a look at what happens if we try and... Oh, no, not y'all. Uh, roll. No? What is it we're trying to do? Oh, there we go. Yeah. Look at that. Moves the slider. Neat. Also, while I've been messing about with that, we've gone very unstable. Let's try and get back on track here. Lean. There we go. Forward, forward, forward. Okay, we're going again. Concentrating. It's kind of working. Need to lower throttle a little bit. Only a little bit. Oh, it's hard to do the fine-tuned control, actually. I need to reduce the strength of the rotor on the top even more so that the slider has a bigger effect. Why are we tilting like this? Stop tilting like this. More power. Oh, dear. Easy, easy, easy. Okay. Nope, stop tilting in ways that are just going to make you explode. Okay. Just want to land on this helipad, that's all I care about. Why are we tilting back so much? Holy crap. Ah. Uh. Oh, this isn't good. No, 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 no. Damn it. I like that every single blade went. Yeah, the only thing we lost was actual blade parts. The rest of the thing is completely fine. And we have so much SAS power that we could just kind of wiggle this around. I wonder if we like tilt back and forwards, can we propel ourselves anywhere? Okay, let's leave, let's leave that. Okay, what do we need to change? Oh, the strength of the motor, so we need to go back to the hangar. Oh yeah, caps lock for fine inputs, should have done that. Okay. Motor strength... 10. That'll give us a lot more, uh, room. Do I actually- oh no, that doesn't- that's only gonna change the... Hmm. I need to put like a-, a like an RPM limit... Like on the actual- You know what, there's another way of doing that. There's another way of uh, needing more RPM to get more lift. Use smaller blades. Maybe I shouldn't have been using these massive blades. Let's try and swapping swap it out for small ones. Still four, and then if we need to swap, uh, do more, we can bring it down to two. If uh, we like, we've gone too far, then we can have six blades or something. That's the button. No, it's not. That's the button. There it is. And deploy. Nope. Other way. Why is the de default deploy direction downwards? That's not how helicopters work, game. Okay, has that affected the center of mass, I wonder? Uh, don't think it has. Alright. Let's try again. I now have dog? What? Why do I have dog?
Oh, so you don't need the two horizontal stabilizers just making life difficult. Oh, these ones here? Yeah, maybe. Actually, yeah, the, the dropping down, they're going to be causing all sorts of issues. Yeah. All right. You activate, and then... We've got to find out what speed these things need to be at to do the thing. Uh, oh, not much at all. Okay, lower. Oh dear, I didn't have SAS on. Roll! No, that's the wrong way! And revert to launch. <laughs> I know the center of lift is wonky, but that's... Uh, it's not... The, the blades are centered, so I don't I don't know how that affects things. SAS on. Power that up. Lower this way down. And give it some welly. Ooh, look at that. Are we hovering? No, we're not hovering. It just looks like we are. Bit more. Oh. Uh, uh. Okay, we have a lift off. Just a, a little over a third. All right, let's try and make for the VAB. This feels more stable. Interestingly, I guess because maybe the smaller blades have some kind of effect there. Now I want to get like the smallest kind and just have more of them in the middle. Hell, the smallest blade might be enough. This is enough for lift right now. Less than half throttle. All right, let's let's go forwards. Let's attack. Oh yeah, and also we'll hit caps lock. Get things a little bit gentler. Seems like a good idea. Here we go. Oh, oh. Okay, yeah, the moment we try and, like, stop, it goes weird, and it's probably the tailplane stuff that we got going. Probably not effective. Why are we dropping? I thought this was enough for lift. Why is it no longer enough for lift? Did we stall? Was that a stall? Oh, dear. Okay. Back to the hangar, I'm going to take off those things on the back. I feel like they're not helping. Does that affect the mass? Uh, a smidge. Tiny bit further forward. Huh? There, I think. Seems vaguely right. I'm sure it'll be fine. Okay. Let's give it a shot. And, and... Yeah, I know the SAS is definitely uh, a significant chunk of... <laughs> yeah, yeah Danny Jig, uh, it's stable because I'm cheating, because... KSP has reaction wheels that are insanely powerful and can make anything stay facing the way you want it to stay within reason we've been beyond reason in the early stages now that we're within reason it's working okay and right about there I'm gonna give it some more power because I feel like it might have been a torque issue that made us uh, stall before and go oh steady Yeah, I think removing those wings has helped. I think they were. This thing could spin fast enough to deorbit Kerbals if they let go during an EVA. That is an interesting thought. Also, where did my frames go? Frames, what are you doing? Oh, Lord. Yeah, it, it's suddenly going weird for you. Okay, well, we're here. Throttle down a bit. Back it up. Back it up. Uh, 
Okay, that was... Uh-oh. 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 Oh, no. Throttle up. Throttle up. Oh, there it goes. Damn it, nearly landed on the helipad as well. Oh, dear. Yeah, the, it's suddenly gone very framey. I don't know why. It seems to have stabilized now. Don't know what that was about. Maybe someone was downloading something somewhere in the house. Who knows? Wait, it's 2 a.m. No one's up at this time. I don't know, maybe an update got downloaded somewhere. I have no clue why that happened. Or some random window. Time to open up Task Manager. And keep an eye out for anything suddenly spiking. Okay, I can see if anything goes weird. Boop, back to the game. Okay. Rottle down a bunch. And... That's the wrong thing. Boop. Boop. SAS, nearly forgot that. Back around that way. And go! And I'll keep an eye on the frame thing and see if anything else, else, anything else goes wrong. I do need to make my put my face cam in the corner, in place of Jeb, but I can't because if I click away from KSP, it goes out of focus. It like it it minimizes. You can't get it to not do that, meaning that I can't. Uh, I can't then go to OBS and position the camera because while I'm doing that, this will disappear and then I don't know what I'm lining up with. Otherwise, I was going to do that. That was the plan for the stream. I was going to put my head down. Line it up. Back, back. That's not... Well. Damn it. Seems to be mostly fine, honestly. Hold on. It's more of a problem than I thought. Oh no. Oh, it's made things very weird. Uh, oh dear. Oh no, oh, I'm just diving now. I am now just diving. Oh, okay. Oh, and again. Frames! Frames, what are you doing? What is happening? I'm looking on my task manager and nothing is going weird. The internet connection is staying dead, uh, like, stable. I think means something else could be using the network. Steam Client Bootstrapper is using a, an awful lot of my network right now. Is that a thing that runs during games? I don't, in fact, hang on a minute, my copy of KSP isn't even on Steam. End task. Blimmin' using up all my network. That might have fixed it. <laughs> Blimmin' Steam. Sneaking stuff by me in the background. Right, we'll see if it works better now. Um, revert to launch. I think we can do this. I'm confident. The problem is that uh, when I drop, I drop. And I don't know how to fix that. Apart from maybe finer tuned controls. Whoop. Okay, here we go. Keep us pointed. I suggest this is an SAS module right behind the command one where the Kerbal is. Just for more SAS. Much, much smaller throttle adjustments. Yeah, I think maybe I need to drop down to two blades. I think that would still be enough that this thing would fly. And then I'd have way more uh, control. Yeah, let's switch it to fine-tune mode. Drop it down now. On course, or we were, we're not anymore. Come on, stop rolling. Go. 
Okay, we're dropping, we're dropping. Helipad! Damn it! <laughs> Damn it, the cockpit exploded. We kind of need that. <laughs> it's just gone flying off the side. Damn it. Doing so well. All right. We're about to launch. Actually, no, no, I'm gonna, I'm gonna fix, I'm gonna take two blades off. I'm gonna see if that helps. Revert to hangar. Welcome to the stream, we're building helicopters. Badly. Now oh, the only option is that I've got to change the setting on this to... Oh. Double. Uh, there. And deploy. Okay. Let's try that. Yeah, it's also on helicopter sensitive and has a slightly delayed effect. That's the thing. So you do have to be very careful. Alright, this. Full power. And you may be also full power now. Let's try. Okay. Two thirds isn't enough. Oh, oh, perfect. Yeah, that's exactly what we want. So we can just hammer on it and then we get a decent rate of ascent or we lower it and we've got much more stable, steady. Okay, let's do this. Hold Alt to disable service attachment. I think, yeah, does Shift, uh, maybe I'm getting Shift and Alt mixed up, but I, yeah, I've always been holding Shift and that helps you to lock to a point. But if Alt means that you can only lock to points, that's way better than Shift. Why is Shift even a thing? Or I'm just imagining that I'm hitting Shift and I'm actually hitting Alt. I don't really know. I never know what I'm doing. <laughs> you were going to sleep and now you need to play KSP. Sorry. Okay, we're going fast now. Wow. Can actually get a decent clip. Break. You know what? Just spin around. Also, up, please. Uh, well. Stalled. Damn it. We're into space plane hangar. I'm gonna see if this problem can be solved by excessive torque. Doubling the size of the motor. So that it can't possibly, like, spin slower if that's what it was. I don't know if that is what it was. Okay. Also, why haven't I set engage to a button yet? I really should have done that. Oh, we're on full power. Well, here we go. Yeah. And lower it way down. And if you can go forwards and not just flail around side to side, please. What is... What are you doing? Stop. Oh, SAS is off. That was RCS I hit. Whoops. Wait, I managed to fly that far without SAS? Damn, this helicopter's getting good. Okay. Slow it down. Oh, oh, no, we're dropping. We're dropping way too fast. Oh, dear. Eh, try and save the crew. Nailed it. Crew lives. Now I'm just gonna spin around with this. Oh, there it goes! Goodbye! <laughs> That's amazing.
That was beautiful. <laughs> I didn't realize fellas could do that. Now I want to make that happen deliberately, because that's hilarious. Okay, um, revert to launch. We'll try this again. Not so much in aerodynamic stalls, you lost rotation on the rotors. Hello. I did the thing where OPS randomly disconnects and I have no idea why. Uh, what? That's very weird. Well, honestly. Wrong thing. Eh. Full power. Full power. And rain it in a bit. And off we go. Uh, okay, a bit more power. Let's just go full speed for a second. Ah. I'm coming for you, VAB. Oh god, let's not crash. Okay, Blitz is going full power and I'm barely lifting. That's a concern. Yep, there's weird properties of lift going on with this that scare me. The stream did bork. If it's not come back, refresh. Of course, you can't hear me say that, but everyone in chat yell refresh if there's people who still can't see the stream. Oh, oh, easy, easy, easy. More power. A lot more power. Don't. Don't. Why? Why does it just drop? I don't understand. Why, helicopter? Why do you betray me so? Go back to the space, the space plane hangar, apparently. We need a bit more potential lift, I think, so that we can overcome that. If that's even overcomable, I don't know. So I'm gonna stick... Uh, Three blades on it, or or one apparently. There we go. Three blades. Deploy. And uh, there was something else I was going to do, but I've forgotten what it is. Oh yeah, I was going to actually set up the action keys for launch. Uh. Oh, there we go. Stage. Engage. Engage. I think that'll work. You don't start decelerating until you're right above the helipad for zero is overshooting. I mean, the overshooting wasn't the problem. The problem was that I just suddenly dropped and then throttled up to full and then just carried on dropping anyway. And I think I was even still accelerating towards the ground, and that's what's confusing me. Okay, that's apparently not set up correctly. Torque. Oh, I did the wrong thing. Eh, torque. There we go. I like how the SAS managed to stabilize it without the rear stabilizer. <laughs> oh, oh, easy, easy, easy. Oh, that's not the right button. My fingers were on the wrong keys. That way. Too far. That. That way. There we go. Way too high up. Throttle it down. Oh yeah, I forgot the throttle's all different now because I've had an extra blade. So that's why we're going way up. Okay, we're now dropping. Sudden rapid dropping. Overcome. Okay. A little bit less. A little bit less again. We're still. Why are we still going up? Less. Less? Now we're going down. More. 
still going down. Correct, correct. To correct it, you've got to way overdo it. That's the problem. What I re really like now is one person controlling orientation and one person controlling lift. Because the moment I focus on one, I fail on the other. Yeah, you've got to make huge changes to the lift for it to, uh, to not plummet or catapult into the sky. Like, when you need to go up, you've got to just go full power up for a second and then cut it very quickly. Because once you start going down, you will just go down faster and faster unless you massively overcome it. No, you don't understand, Derp Squad. Like, like I, I just need to demonstrate this. So, like, okay, we start to drop. We suddenly drop rapidly. More thrust. Still dropping. More thrust. Uh... Now we're stable. Way more thrust. Now we decelerate. Too late, we've hit the ground. It's something about, as soon as we're going down, some property changes that means you need way more thrust to, to stay level anymore. So it's like being... It's like holding a particular height is impossible. Because if you drift down a tiny bit, then you'll just start... It'll just go run away. Alright, let's work out what our takeoff uh, speed is for this one. One and a half. Oh, just under two. Okay. Yeah, that makes sense. So the reason I was making those wild uh, throttle changes was because when I tried doing it nicely, I wasn't getting any effects. Yeah, and it's, it's like because the rotors are falling, there's more resistance against them, but I thought I was overcoming that entirely with the, the torque, but maybe I'm not. Maybe I need the motor to be more powerful. Like right now it's point 0.1, like, let's try this actually, let's just test. So drop the throttle a little bit. And let's see, when we drop, does it... No, the rotors don't slow down, but now we're dropping way too fast and we've got to go full tilt back on to resist that. And apparently we're going to land on the ground, so that's fun. Oh, hello, what did we lose? I don't even know, our batteries? Oh, uh, one of the SAS modules. That's survivable. Oh, well, not if we crash. Okay, oh. It's maybe giving us a, a bit more of some weird tilting effects. Okay, okay. I'm actually feeling relatively confident about this one. When there's a chunk of the helicopter missing. Okay, lower it. Now we're dropping. Now the dropping is getting worse. Counteract it. Oh dear. We've lost it. I shouldn't have changed my camera position. That just messed me up. Oh, that's not right. Nope. 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 I'm getting uh, yarn roll mixed up, which is making things go very badly. Oh, hello. We're going to land on the roof, apparently. Damn it! Now we just need more suspension on the blooming legs. What, what did it, 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 I don't even know where it went there. Okay, we're gonna give it some stronger legs. Because yeah, they're they're pistoning in to to the point where. Hmm. Yeah, you know what? Let's just take these off and put the heavy duty ones on. Uh, landing gear. Are they in there? There we go. Landing strut. I'm gonna have these further forward as well, because I notice we lean back on the on the landing pad, on the 
runway. We've not made it to the landing pad yet. That's more like center of mass. Which is still, uh, I think... Oh, actually, this is too far. Gotta push that back a smidge. There we go. Still seems to be under the rotor, so that's worked out nicely. Right. They're stronger, that should work better. Well, yeah, there is, uh, like, there is obviously torque in response, but it's also showing that it's still speed, uh, spinning at the full speed, so it feels like that shouldn't be a problem, and yet it is anyway. So, like, I've gone nuts with the torque, but it's still dropping, even though the torque is enough to keep the speed up of the blades. I really wish there were propeller noises. Is this spinning? Okay, it's just spinning at a very particular speed. Yeah, there we go. If we tilt sideways, we can see the it changes. Does the helicopter need more boosters? I mean, putting boosters on this does seem like a fun idea. Okay, charge! So far, so good. And let's decelerate. Making us drop more power. More power. More power? More power! We're at full. We are at full power. And we're up again. And immediately cut it as soon as we're, we're going up. That's the way you've got to do it. Okay. Lean it back, lean it back, lean it back. Dropping. Counteract it. I'm gonna spin around. I wanna be facing it kind of forwards really. Oh, you see yes. That like without your throttle input changing your Velocity, your acceleration changes. That's the the ultimate effect of this whole problem. A second ago, this speed was making me shoot up rapidly. Now I'm dropping. What a helicopter pilots are so well paid. I don't know if they are well paid. I hope they are. They should be. We're getting better. We're getting better every time. Okay. Drop it. And... Some of it is just not being able to drop the, uh... To change the power output quick enough. Oh! Uh... Come on, come on. Got it. Right, we are we're steady basically. Sideways, it's just up and down that's the problem. You just need to make such huge changes to change your your height in the right way. Okay, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on. Oh more, 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 more. Ah And cuss it! Oh, Come on. Got so close. So damn close. Needs more power. And less. This would be so much easier with two people. Up, up, up. Just a bit, just a bit. Need some I need some intense music for this. Oh, more power! Oh, damn it! The landing legs weren't enough. Just, it's, there's just too many factors. Pitch, your roll, and throttle. Too many things. If, if KSB2 happens, maybe I can get a co-pilot. That would be nice. Perhaps this is why altitude control is based on rotor angle of attack instead of throttle, so you think that might be? 
the way to do it. But also stays where you leave it, but what you want to, to have happen is it snap back to hover velocity. Hmm. I don't... Hmm. You can affect the rotor angle of attack, so I could try that. <laughs> the right of the Valkyries. Oh dear. Let's go to the hangar. We can try tying angle of attack to the throttle as well as the actual throttle of the rotor. That might help us. Or it might make things way worse. Only one way to find out. Um, okay. And then we'll have to just launch this and see what it does. I know I shouldn't map multiple things to the same input, but they both do the same thing. So let's see what this looks like. Yeah, that is correct then. Just gonna not throttle down really low or the blades point down and it all goes very wrong very quickly. Hmm. Hmm, interesting. Okay, let's see how this goes. This might be a terrible idea, but I think it's worth a shot. There we go. We're moving. And throttle down. Okay. Go forth. Hello, welcome to the stream. I'm making a helicopter. It's going okay-ish. We nearly got it on the pad. We nearly got it. So close. This thing really wants to tilt to the right. I feel like worse than before. I feel like I need like a counterweight something. Well, then again, once I'm level, it stops being tilting to the right. It's just tilting wherever. Based on what I happen to be doing at the time. Right, throttle it down. Okay, slow us down. Slow us down. We come over the pad. Straighten it up. Okay. Down a bit more. There we go. That made a much more quick response. Oh, that's wrong. Nope. Nope. Didn't want to do that. Nope. Level. 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 <laughs> Things fine. Gives a bit more. Okay. Oh, look at this. We're getting very stable at times. That's always nice, though. We're just way above the ground, so it's got to recreate that lower down. But yeah, you know what? This angle of attack thing has completely changed the way the throttle responds. It's now wonderful. Holy crap. It's doing, like, exactly what I want it to now. I don't even understand. All right, we can just gently lower it. Tiny bit more throttle. Just to keep the drop steady. Oh, e easy, easy, easy. Don't. Don't just suddenly flail off to one side, please. And... Oh, no, no. Oh, I'm losing it. More throttle. Let's lift a bit. Oh, that's not right. Oh, geez. Nope, nope, nope. Everything's fine. Gonna flip it around. Let's go in for another pass. Too far. I have to do this. Okay, easy, easy, easy. Slow, slow. Come 
correct all changes and then apply the one change you need uh, I drive a manual because I'm in the UK we all basically drive manuals here oh geez no 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 I say that there are a bunch of automatic cars I know but much more often here we actually learn to drive manual I don't know if you're from America I just assume you are if you're asking that question because most UK cars are manual anyway throttle it down a bit let's lower because right now we're just kind of hovering at the same point Line it up. Line it up. Need to learn to use the roll instead of yaw. And vice versa. Keep messing that up. Okay. This is promising. Got to use yaw to occasionally correct my positioning because I think the propeller at the back is just going a tiny bit too quick a lot of the time. Okay, we're very, very slowly dropping. So this is good. Oh, 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 no, no, too fast, too fast, too fast! Ah, damn it! It just, it just suddenly started plummeting. Ah. He's doing four things at once. It's not that bad with a manual. This is much more difficult than driving a, a manual car. I don't think I've ever seen a car that even had a manual gear shift. Yeah, in the US, everyone just uses automatics. Right. I don't think we need to make any changes. I think we just need to, to succeed. <laughs> I guess I could have made it so the torque thing actually worked, but whatever. I don't know if I can even make that happen, because torque control is determined by uh, throttle. Oh wait, no, it's it's max speed. Yeah, no, maybe then. I don't know. Um, we're going way too fast. I don't know why I'm going this this crazy. Bring it down. Okay. Slow. Bring us to a halt. Uh, okay. Steady. And lower the throttle. Comes we're going up. Still going up. Less. Still going up. But we're slowing down in our going up. Okay. I wish it wouldn't just constantly spin. Because that distracts me, and then I end up overshooting the rest of the pad. Oh, overshot that by miles. There. Okay, this seems like it's working. We're dropping steadily. And we lean forwards a bit sometimes. Okay, okay. This looks good, this looks good. Don't ruin it now. Oh, we're ruining it. We're ruining it. Abort. Okay. 
went slightly wrong at the end there. It's annoying because the throttle was perfect. It's like, yeah, we're just going to steadily lower. Nothing else is going to happen. Oh, oh no. All you got to do is stay above the pad and I, I fudged it the last moment. Okay. Gotta remember, roll, roll. I'm just slowly orbiting it because every time I make any sort of maneuver, that propeller takes the opportunity to spin us more. Okay. Don't rush back, just gently drift. Stop spinning, you stupid helicopter. I know it's what you do by nature in many different ways, but... Sometimes it's just not what I want. No, 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 back, 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 back. Roll. Ah, come on, back. No, too many things, too many things. Ah! Uh, we, we landed it. We technically landed it. <laughs> Our guy is alive in there. We still have some blades, even. <laughs> oh dear. Full power! Now I shall leave. My planet needs me. Surprisingly functional, considering it doesn't have a tail rotor anymore. Or one of its blades. Or its stabilizer at the back. I think I could land this on the ground. Oh, I think I don't have a choice. I think I am landing this on the ground. Uh-oh. Yeah, okay. Full power wasn't enough. Once we started dropping, we just dropped more. Yeah, any landing I can walk away from. Um, the first one, yeah, the second one needs some work. So close. Also, I'm going to go back to the hangar and see if I can set up automatic activation of the rotors. Because that would be nice. Actions, stage, so not engage motor drive. That's not apparently the way you engage the motor drive, funnily enough. Toggle motor power? Toggle motor engage? No, not engaged. I think toggle motor power. We'll find out. SAS is OP, this is true. The challenge after this will be to still fly the thing with less SAS on it. It works! I like it, just click, and now I'm flying. It doesn't make any noise apart from a tiny click, and now I'm in a helicopter. Alright, let's go. Oh, so let's way reduce the throttle. So we don't end up miles above the damn thing. I think actually fine-tuned controls are not good for this because I can't respond quick enough. I'm like, no, we need to go this way, and it's like, huh? Okay, I'm going a bit fast here. Brake. And lower the speed. Still going up. Let's just drop a lot because we're way above where we need to be. And recover. Recover. I, oh, mm. Yeah, if you drop too much, you just die. Oh. Oh, alright then. What did we even lose? Something. Oh, we lost that SAS module again. Why is it always that one? Alright. Uh, well, slow it down now. 
gonna, I'm gonna keep trying. Things a little bit unbalanced now and has a little bit less uh, control over itself, but god damn it, gonna keep trying. No, that's the wrong button. Ah, I'm mixing up your own roll. Oh, no. Accelerate. Accelerate. Or decelerate. That'll also work, honestly. I like how that landing leg's all on a wonk. And bounce. Oh, we... This time it wasn't the SAS. Okay. Um, I'm going to try something. I'm going to uh, where is it main throttle I'm going to take away the RPM limit option we're just going to do it entirely through authority of the propellers an RPM limit is just going to be max let's try that Okay. So now throttle just controls these. Also, if we throttle down, we literally fly downwards. So let's never go below half, because we'll die. Um, go. Whoa. Okay. Yeah, we don't need much in the way of uh, propeller authority, which is a worry, because I could very easily switch from like, it's a little bit of lift to no lift by accident. Okay, here we go. Let's go full speed. Ah! I'm a prop plane. And slow it down. Gentle braking. Okay. Level, level. A little bit forwards. Oh god, yeah, you really just, like, that's the line there. I'm just above the line. Right now I'm pretty sure I'm on the line. I don't know why this is flying. I landed it! I landed it! Hang on, I've got I've got thrust going down now because I cut engines, but that doesn't cut engines, that makes the There we go. Cut it! Cut it all! Boom! I landed a helicopter on the roof of the VAB. Hell yeah. Good work, Jebediah Kerman. Don't get out the hatch, you'll die. We should try this. Oh, oh, oh! oh. <laughs> I wasn't sure what he was doing for a second there. Just gonna stand up, will you? Boop, 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 boop. <laughs> oh, oh! He's now he's falling off now. Climb. Eh, 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 eh. I'm slowing down the blades with my face. Nice. There you go, you can get in and out of this easily. I don't know what you're talking about. It's a safety measure. You can't depart while the blades are in motion. <laughs> I don't think it Oh, you're saying now try it without AS. I thought you were saying had I done it without SAS. I know the drug, man. I, I, I mentioned in the comments at the time. I knew it was a problem. It's, uh, it's fine. Ah. <sighs> Right. Let's fly somewhere else, because we can. Actually, what's the what's the power like? Uh, oh, we've used most of our fuel. Um, oh yeah, because I've got the throttle, the, the torque limit on insane. 
Let's lower that way down. Uh, did I not switch on the other? I didn't switch on the other propeller. SAS, work as my prop while I actually turn the damn thing on. Boop. <laughs> Right, throttle down. Now, is there another helipad? I feel like there is one other helipad somewhere. Is that one there? Could be one there. I'm gonna go have a look at it. So I believe there is another helipad somewhere. That looks like one. It is! There's another helipad. We're landing on it. No, oh, that's the wrong button. <laughs> Oh, uh, mm, it, it, it. There we go. SES is simulating the automated links between the controls. Yeah, SES is making up for the ability, like the lack of any sort of automate. It, it is the it's the autopilot kind of functionality that I imagine real helicopters have. Right, let's bring it down. Uh, are we going down? Yes, we are. Okay. Oh, look at the shadow with the blades moving. Beautiful. It's very gently lowering. Let's just plummet for a second. Oh, that didn't work. This made us... There we go. Fly downwards. That's the way you're doing it. Uh, uh, I'm being I'm being aggressive and it's it's having mixed results. Easy, easy, and roll. Nice. God, you really need to be fine-tuned with the controls when you're going from hovering to landing. It's a pain. Arms itchy. That doesn't help with piloting a helicopter. There we go. Gotta drop it a tiny smidge. I think that was good. I sent a helicopter to Lathe and Juna. Um, Lathe, uh, um, Eve. Eve, you can send a helicopter to, and it would work. Juna and Lathe, I like Juna. Definitely not very thick atmosphere. You're gonna have serious issues with that. Lathe. Isn't as bad, I think. It's closer to the, the size of Kerbin, but it's still not there, so its atmosphere is still. Oh, jeez! That's not what I wanted to do! Ah! <laughs> Damn it, we're losing altitude. I gotta give us a bit of a boost, and that's gonna ruin my descent that I was doing. Okay. Come on, go, 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 go. And then. Break. Didn't this have a helicopter symbol on it? I swear there was one, and now it's gone. Have I gone mad? Was there never a helicopter symbol on this? There was, right? Just a tiny bit more power. Oh, not enough. More power. And drop. Ah. Uh, uh, uh. Oh, dear. Tiny bit more. Just the tiniest bit. There's enough to make us go up, I think, if we're dead level. Or not. Bit more. Bit more. I don't want to land on the ground. Ground is boring. Bit more. I've landed on the ground anyway, apparently. Bit more thrust. Oh, we ran out of fuel. I was wondering why we were just kind of steadily descending and it wasn't wasn't able to do anything anymore. We ran out of fuel. Damn it. Right, let me zoom out. Ah, ah. Something appears. I swear... At a certain distance. Ah, there it is, there it is! There's a H there! Do you see it? It's it's yellow and flickering. There is a helicopter symbol. But it's like glitched inside the texture of the thing. So the H must be just below the actual surface. Oh, yep, you can see the yellow. 
right? That's got a, yeah, that's the yellow of the H. They put it below the surface, so you can only see it when you're super zoomed out and the distances between it and the surface are now negligible and they start occupying the same space. Video games. <laughs> well, we made a helicopter and it flies and it lands and I'm going to take that as a win because I was totally going to land on that if the power didn't, if the fuel didn't run out. I was trying to design a solar wing for Juno, but it was so hard. Um, yeah, I like you've got to have such a like a, a the the amount of propellers you need, the amount of propulsion you need to be able to travel. And I mean, just having wings that can work in Juna is a challenge. It can be done, but oh god. On EVE, you can probably orbit with a helicopter. <laughs> and yeah, if you generate enough thrust with a propeller, you might be able to get above the atmosphere enough... Th yeah, you could totally do... Um, from EVE, you could totally launch with a combination of propeller and uh, nuclear engine, I bet. I bet you could totally do that. Oh, dear. We got one hour tops left, by the way. And if we get to that... Someone pointed out, because I don't want to go past the four-hour mark, because then the stream borks and will take forever to be available. He wants an Eve calling now, oh no. Alright, I'm going to call that a, a good helicopter. I'm going to leave that at that. I know we could do, like, taking SAS off it and stuff, but I'm going to just take what I can get and be like, yep, did it. Helicopter. Saved. Now, I want to make a VTOL propeller aircraft, because I can. I mean, I could just make a VTOL engine aircraft, but propellers make it even cooler. So, we're doing that. Um, let's see. I think we'll do the larger Mark II cockpit. Just for the fanciness of it. And then... We'll use... Are there structural parts that I can use for this? Not really. Uh, there's nothing in aerodynamic, is there, for this? Nah. Yeah, I've got to use fuel tanks. Okay, fuel tank. I think there's one that is actually a nose. Well, there's that one, which is close. Yeah. Let's stick that on the back. And then just empty them. We don't actually want any fuel. Is there not a nose cone? I always assumed there was, but maybe not. Hmm. Maybe it is somewhere in aerodynamics, I just haven't noticed it. I guess I just have to put a nose cone on the end of this. Like that one. Looks a bit silly. I could put the pointier one on it. That, it looks even sillier. Never mind. Put that one on the back. It still looks silly. There is a Mark II nose somewhere. Are you sure? I like. I do feel like I've seen it. I. 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 In my head, it exists. But I'm not actually seeing it here. So it's not in fuel tanks. I feel like it's something weird. Like it has some other purpose. Oh, what are these? Grip pads. Now slip pads to make sure rocks do not slip out of the fingers of your mecha bot. 
grip strips. Okay, so there's some other new stuff with the robotics for making giant robots. Does look like a submarine, yeah. Nothing in payload. Like, does this- does a nose cone for the Mark II only exist in, like, mods? Like... Uh, there genuinely isn't one. That's weird. Well, I guess we'll have this stupid nose then. I, sw I swear I've seen one when it was spinning a mod! You must need to to use mods to get a bloomin' Oh, you know what I've seen? That thing. That's what I've seen. I was thinking of that shape. In fact, I should use that. Forget this. This one. Can't use it. Because I got rid of the core part. <laughs> ah, no. Wrong button. Boop. There. You go away. There. Did it. Got the thing I wanted. Uh, let's make this a... a person transport, because why not? Can this fit four people? Nice. And that can fit two. Ten. Ten person cargo thing. Because why not? And then fuel tanks. Let's do that on the back. And then oh yeah, drain it. Boop. Boop. What am I looking for? Something on the back. Aerodynamics. How does this look? Uh, oh no, it, it does look stupid. I was going to say not terrible, and then I changed angle and I was like, oh no, that is terrible. It'll have to do. Okay. Let's bring up all the overlay stuff. What we need... Start with some wing. A square section, like that. Might be too much. And then in robotics, we've got servos. Various sizes. I don't know if we need like a heavy duty or if a tiny one will do. Also, I don't know how these work. Um... Oh, the whole thing spins. All right. There we go. Angle limit. Angle limit zero. This is confusing my brain. I don't know how these settings work. Like I want it to start one way and then rotate 90 degrees. That's the idea. So... Oh, that is 90 there. Yeah, this works. That is the, the range of it. Uh, we need to reduce it. To 90. Which is a better way of doing it. I realize there's an adjustment thing on this side. Between... Uh, there's no zero degree. Why is there no zero? I want there to be a zero. Okay. I'm missing something? Why is there no zero? Can I edit this? Aha! Min. Zip, 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 zero. Max. Ninety. Target angle ninety. That should be zero. Switch back from number mode. Okay. Target angle. Uh. No. Target angle ninety. Go to zero. That's what we want. Oh, we can change the colors. Neat. Okay. 
Uh, we want them on the center of mass. That's a thing. Oh, Space Engineers update. Cool. So much game stuff happening right now. Oh god. As if it's ever not the case. Um, by the way, if you didn't know, Rick, I won't be around on Saturday for the stream. I'm going to be away. I'm, I'm afraid. I'm sorry. Take a heavy rotor on that. We need some kind of... Uh... I'm going to move this wing back. And move the rotor forwards. Okay, then get uh, just like a tank, like a structural. We're looking for a structural fuselage. Yeah, no, how it was before was great. Sideways. Like that. Centralized. Okay, that's what we want. Then, rotors. Tiny ones will do, I think. That looks silly, though. I'm gonna need to put a cap on this so it's not just a tube. Structural. That's not it. Adapter. Boop. And boop. And we'll slap one on the back as well. Boop. Oh, now here's the thing. Uh, to actually make these propellers, I gotta do. I gotta assemble them like back here first, really. Okay, I feel like we want there to be as many nodes as we can have. And then. Where am I looking? Aerodynamics. And then the tiniest propellers we can... Actually, we don't need the tiny propellers. I've got it far of, forward enough that that's not a thing. Let's put tiny propellers on anyway. Lots of little tiny cube propellers. So did he. That's not what I want at all. There. It's more like it. Perfect. Let's see. I don't deploy them yet. Okay, let's just take it as it is there. Flip it around. Pop it on. It, it, mm. There we go, we just got stuck to the floor. That was weird. Oh yeah, okay. Before I do that, turn off symmetry. One here. One here. And they need to be separately edited. Oh, hang on. Have I put these on wrong? I just realized I have. Because, let me guess. Yeah, that's not right. <laughs> um, okay. Minus 90. <laughs> Zero. <laughs> Why? Why has it done this? We take that off. Put it back on with the right kind of symmetry. There. Now it's all upside down entirely. Now I actually need to change it back to what it was before. Zero. Ninety. I try and highlight the whole thing, but it actually does it for you, and I just end up unhighlighting it. Why is there a 7? Did I hit 7? I didn't think I hit 7. 0. Okay. Why are you still... Why are you rotating like that? That's not what I want. What? I, but I used this kind of symmetry. Why would you then do that? Okay, we got we got to do the whole thing. We got to mm. 
We just gotta separate them. Okay, first things first, I gotta make sure there's an attachment point that is that is duplicated, so any movements will be mirrored. So I guess I'll just get like a tiny strut. Tiny strut. There. Then attach you like so. Oh yeah, tiny strut should be moved. Oh no, damn it. The problem is that because the 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 rotors have to be independent of each other because the game is dumb. That means that everything I build on top of that Oh, I've got to do separately on both sides, but then they won't be even because I'm not perfect. Unless they all have set attachment points, which this doesn't have. It just, you flail it on the side. You don't stick it to a particular point. I know it's rotational symmetry, but it's not. I put it on mirrored symmetry, look. I placed it mirrored. And then what does it do? Spin in opposite directions. Why would it do this to me? Why would it hurt me so? What do I do? How do I make this work? We don't use them. We don't have wings attached, and we use something other than this tube. Use rotational? Well, that if that makes that work, then that's so dumb. Rota it doesn't even let me do rotational symmetry because I've already got things on here that are otherwise. Okay, if I make the wings like that. Rotational. Boop. And then stick these on the wings. Now they're flipped for some reason. Rotational. Nope! I'm trying to make cool stuff with y with your game. Game. Squad. Take two. Why? Whose idea was this? Or you tried to do this, it's not possible. I appreciate your sacrifice, uh, Histor Gammon. Just wanted to make a cool VTOL. Just wanted to do that. There are still ways it can be done. Yep, saw that. Hinges. We'll use bloody hinges. Getting the rotation right will be an absolute nightmare. Also, I'm wondering what this controller does. I'm intrigued by that. Hinges. Single motors? Do you mean like one one servo that does the whole thing? That would also work. Can I reverse once it's placed? No. I mean, I will. I, I have to. The, the problem is, I can, I can make two rotors that do the things I need them to do, and I can put them in the right places, but then I have to attach to those this. And this doesn't have a set attachment point. You. It's. It's um, it's a continuous variable or whatever you want to. Call. I can't think of it. It's not one. It's not a, sp a particular point of attachment, which means I would have to perfectly place the engines on both sides, or there'd be an imbalance and the thing would be weird. And I hate that, so <laughs> I'm not doing it. <laughs> yeah, the way to do it 
is to have one servo that somehow does the whole thing, or a hinge that does the whole thing. What are these like? That's pretty tiny. All the thrust of the of the vehicle will be going through this one item. So that's the thing to worry about. And also, the centre of rotation needs to be the centre of mass. Which it ain't. You can use the control module to control them together. Okay. Oh. Open editor. Oh, okay. Oh, there's a whole thing. Oh, oh no. Okay. Right, zero. Ninety. We want it starting at 90. This one. Zero. No, I can still... Mm, okay. Right, set them both just to minus 90, 90. We'll do it that way. Right, they're both like that. Um, start them both at zero. Okay. Then. Oh, jeez. Well, how long? I've got 36 minutes to make this work. All editing stuff I already have. Add point. Clamp point. Tangents. Speed the sequence will play at. What is this? Oh, that's the sequence. Okay. Oh, I've lost the ability to press any buttons. Uh. Whoops. Ah! Oh. custom one. I don't know what I'm doing, but I've lost... I can't do anything anymore. I can play. All the buttons went away. I needed those. Is it broken? I don't understand. I don't know what's going on. I messed with the slider and now it's all just gone wrong. Oh, hello. Okay. Little did Ventham know that Opus Magnum had been added to KSP. <laughs> right. Because it's not letting me click on anything, I'm just going to delete it and build a new one. Okay, open editor. I have buttons again. Add point. Nothing happened. Add, add point. I don't know what I'm doing. We're going to leave this. We're going to leave this one. I'm just gonna, mm, I'm just gonna s slap that on there and call this VTOL work in progress. And let's make a quadcopter. <laughs> All right. Biggest remote guidance unit. And then. Some arms. And upon those arms... Rotors. Oh, you know what? We'll need a proper attachment point. Uh, I 
could also use a different kind of thing. I could use these. That probably makes more sense, actually. Can I attach the rotor sideways to that? No, only the top of it. Or the side of it. No, that's no good. Okay, I need a cube. Cubic octagonal strut. Boop. Okay. Are they right? I think they are. Doesn't matter that much. Okay, pop that on the top. Give it a whole bunch of propellers. Let's just go nuts. Let's give it eight. Uh, octo. Aerodynamics. Tiny blade. I can't see because it's so tiny how it's supposed to be, I think. That way? Yeah, there we go. The white strip has to point forward, and that's the thing that I've learned, so... We do that, we place that on... Oh. That's not what I want to do. There. Nope. There. One. And... One. And then, put it back in the middle. I can just place them on each thing. I don't need to faff about in the middle. But I, no, I won't, I won't copy that. Okay, so this one. Uh, reverse everything. Including the rotor. That'll go anti-clockwise, that's correct. And boop. Okay, so... Nope, oh, press that. Wrong. Don't do that. That's deployed. Deploy. Deploy. That is the basic thing we need, so I might just like try and see if this works right now. Uh, electrical. Slap a giant battery on this. Boop. That'll do it. Also, these blades are so tiny, maybe I should have gone with bigger ones. I don't know if this will work or not. We'll see. More Factorio. There may be more of that coming, especially with uh, with the final version of Factorio on its way. Presumably. We, we, we live in hope. I mean, Mountain Blade Bannerlord's been announced now, which means that Factorio, ha uh, yeah, Factorio has to have its full release soon. Everything releases in 2020. This is what we've learned. All the sequels, all the completions of games. Right. Um, I need not crew. Actions. Stage. Boop. Engage motor drive. Engage motor drive. Engage motor drive. Engage motor drive, and then main throttle. Uh, RPM limit. RPM limit. RPM limit. RPM limit. Okay, this may work, or I may have missed something. I don't know. We'll find out. Okay. Well, that didn't work. Right, I'm gonna hold down brake, and then we're just gonna crank all these up to max manually, because apparently I picked the wrong... button. The wrong thing. Okay, they're going, but apparently it's not enough. We need bigger blades. This is not enough lift. It's close. Oh, look at that. It's so close. Look at how floaty this is. This is like exactly the right amount of lift to make this thing like hover. Or not quite. <laughs> look at it. We can actually kind of travel with it. I feel like with a bit like a ramp 
We could get this thing to take off and like glide for miles. Issue is the uh, electric charge usage is insane. Because we've got the torque on max for all these. I just angle of attack, I think it's already like optimal. Uh, oh no, it's not. Nope. No, that made it go flat. That's made it worse. Whoa! What? Hold on. Okay, okay. Revert. Revert to space plane hangar. Let's get these action groups working right. Okay, maybe angle of attack is useful? I just went nuts, but not at max. That was very weird. Okay, so I, I apparently engage motor engine is the incorrect thing for the action group. Gauge motor drive. So, d delete those. Let's try this again. Oh, I've got them all selected somehow. Neat. Uh, no, it can't be toggle motor power. Toggle motor and gate? No. Power? Did it do it for all of these? No, it didn't. It just pretended it did. Okay, toggle motor power for all of those. Uh, oh, that's not that's the main total low. No, we don't want that. We want that on... Oh, that was staging. Damn it, I wasn't the right thing. I just wasn't looking properly. Motor power. Motor power. Motor power. Motor power. Main throttle will not be the RPM limit. It will be the authority limiter. And we'll see what this does. I feel like it's going to be very weird. Okay. Launch. I feel like maximum attack, angle of attack like breaks it, but like a little bit less than that is good or something. It's weird. Okay. Right, they're active this time. Good. And then... Yeah, I throttle down and it goes nuts. What? And then throttle down more and it stops so everything but angle of attack so let's just watch this oh no it's accelerated okay more D geez okay what is the optimal oh there there 60 70 80 Anything above or below this particular level drops it. What? So the optimal angle is like 120. Or 105, apparently. Wait, so 105 is propelling this thing blooming miles, but 100 isn't enough. Oh, no, a bit more helps. Uh, and then less. I don't ruin it. It's like 108 is the optimum amount. What? <laughs> Why? Well... Let's go down. Oh, no, we flip more. Oh, okay. If you want to... It wants to stay this way up, apparently. Sure. Huh. Is it auto-stabilizing, or is it just a... I don't know what's going on here. I think it's auto-stabilizing, only when descending, though, probably. Because the propellers are above the center of mass. So I don't know what I expected, really. Boop, stabilize. And then... Putting the angle of attack on max basically just cuts the power to the damn things. It depends on air pressure. Ah, oh, okay. Right. This is why helicopters are so hard, because you've got to constantly tweak the super picky variable. Yep. Okay, now we're just level, apparently. Oh no, we are descending, just very slowly. What if I cut the power entirely? Alright, I guess not cut the power, cut the angle of attack. I think I've just flipped them upside down. Not changed it. Oh, we're accelerating downwards, I've just realised. Interesting. Very interesting. 
Yep, you can fully turn these. We're now going downwards at ridiculous speeds. Okay, reverse it. Okay, the reversing, it takes a little bit to, uh, to really come to effect. Oh! So for decelerating, maximum angle of attack works. Weird. I keep saying angle of attack. It's angle of authority, I know, but I've, angle of attack is used as in helicopter terminology sometimes. Probably by people who don't know much about it. I don't know. In movies. Definitely in movies. Alright, let's try fly somewhere. Let's try land on the VAB again. I've just realized this whole thing's flipped though, that's no good. Control point, reversed. Actually, ooh, control point front. Oh, there isn't an option for that. Well, reverse then. Oh, oh, uh oh, uh oh, uh oh. Okay. Yep, this is fine. Everything's fine. We're, we're just flipping now, apparently. Point retrograde, please. Oh, Lord. Uh, give us a maximum angle just to slow us down, maybe? No, that's not helped. Oh, we just lost one motor entirely, but the rest is still fine. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yep. Yeah. Oh, dear. Okay. Let's revert that. I feel like we'll we'll work on that more another time. I want to make a giant spinny thing while we've still got some time. I can spell. Shush. Okay, new thing. Um, we'll go to the VAB for this. Okay, I'm just gonna get a giant fuel tank. What's the biggest by mass? That one. Plonk! That'll do it. We'll put a pot on it, because why not? So we'll put that above. Then I want to get a... Rotor. By size, maybe? There. Heavy rotor. Boom. Eight attached nodes. Maximum RPM limit. Put the pod on top. Might be seeing the kind of thing I'm going for with this. I see everything back to name. It's getting confusing and weird. Okay, uh, and then, let's be smart, let's put a hinge. Uh, something heavy-ish duty. There we go. Uh, angle limit, wherever it wants to be. Target angle will be down there, um, but it's not motorized. It'll just do what it likes. And then down here... And a little panel. Actually, no, we can do like... Like that. No, I won't let us do it at an angle. Uh, oh, can we do a structural panel here? That'll like connect on a corner, or or not? Oh, they have attachment points on the sides. Isn't the point of them to do this? Okay, fine. Well, what if we do something like that? Oh, that's nice. And then 
some seats. Oh, no, wrong thing. Uh, alt. There. I feel that's gone very wrong. That's not rotated right at all. How did I mess that up? There. There we go. Got a little seats. <laughs> you shush, Rick. I know what I'm doing. Then we need... Oh, you know what I realised we can do? Pop these off. And these as well, actually. Robotics. This is the biggest one. Looks like it. That's better. Compact for storage purposes. Target extension can be max. Okay. Uh, right, yes. Uh, legs on this. Or legs. Ground. There. Ridiculous amounts of landing struts. Actually, I, I can't do more than like eight because it'll go weird. That should be fine. Okay, now I need to do some action groups. Oh, I need to get to the rotor. Oh no! Uh, wait, no, I can see it. I can see it from there. So this can be this can be throttle. Heavy rotor. RPM limit. Stage will be to activate it. Toggle power. Custom 1. Extend piston. Custom 2. Track piston. I don't think I need to do anything with this because the hinge is loose anyway. Okay, launch it. No, oh, I need to put a person in it. There needs to be someone in charge of this madness. Jebediah, who better? Oh, we can put people in the seats. Oh no, oh no. Astronaut complex, hire them, hire them all. Can I leave and come back and hire more? Yes, hire them all again. And hire them all again. Oh no. Oh, what am I doing? Just all the seats. All 16 of them. It's a better work. Okay, we'll have the, the rest of the, the classic crew in the pod. There we go, save that. And now launch it. And we'll see how this goes. So of course, now that we have moving parts, what better purpose for them than to make fairground rights? I realize this needs to be anti-clockwise. Gotta remember that. Um, throttle it way down. And stage. And then... This is like 1%. And there we go. It's spinning. It's a lovely fairground ride for the Kerbals. And then if we up the RPM limit a little bit... And a smidge more. What are we at now? 
Oh, I can't see it because other things. Okay, we're up at 24. We're actually taking... Oh, wow, so the torque, the torque is at max. And it's still struggling to gain speed. But it's gaining speed. I wonder then, if we just put it to max, either way it's going to take a while to get there. Oh, no, it's slowing down now. Oh, well, okay. Oh, we ran out of charge. Hold on, we missed a critical part of this, um... This thing. Very, very important part. And that is the, uh, oh yeah. Is this, a, like, is this max? Yeah, this is as strong as it can be. Damn, it's not good enough. We need some batteries. We need crap tons of batteries. And then also, let's just, like, cover these in uh, solar panels. I don't know what will happen with a, a piston. We'll find out. The better still be the crew in this. I'd be so annoyed if I have to redo those. <laughs> Fuel cells. Hmm. Oh, oh, why, why is it bouncing? Why are you bouncing? Is it the solar panels? I'm going to extend these and see if that helps somehow. It's not going to help. It's, it's not going to make any difference. Well, there's just an extra feature to the... Um, I'm going to bring in the gear. Bring in the gear. Bring in the gear. Oh, God, what is it doing? Oh, God, it's alive. Oh, no, what have I done? Ah! Why has it done this? Oh, God. I don't know why that happened and I'm scared. It's alive. Oh god. Can I oh, oh it's 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 coming down. I'm just going to switch on the rotor anyway cuz why not? I think it's being backwards. Oh no, it's cuz yes, yeah, it's in clockwise. Well, yeah, clockwise then. Sure. Oh god. This isn't this isn't fun anymore. <laughs> oh, and this is just making it worse. I think is it the solar panels have messed it up? Like they the they don't know how the pistons don't know how to interact with the solar panels. There's just a bunch of random kerbals stood about on the ground now. Pods over there. Oh god. I'm gonna activate the gear again and see what that does. The whole thing's rocking. This is a giant, very heavy fuel tank. <laughs> well, they're all gone. Yep, they can't even lift the damn thing. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna just I'm gonna just revert. And get rid of those solar panels, I guess. Let's stick them up on uh, on the top. I suppose. And try again. <laughs> Kerbal Space Program is a flawless masterpiece. Nobody can lift Spider Tron. I didn't mean to build a giant robot spider, but I did, and now I'm scared. Why is it still bouncing? Stop bouncing. Okay, it's calmed down this time. Let's go. Rotation direction counterclockwise. Engage. There we go. Oh god, yeah, when they swing out, it just gets... It takes so much effort to spin. RPM's increasing, though. Extend. I don't know if that's made it better or worse. It's made it worse. No, wait, no, it's going. It's having a... Re uh-oh, uh-oh. No, no, it's going Spider-Tron again. Oh, God. Oh, God, it's alive. It's a part of, the, it's a part of the, the, the attraction. It's meant to be doing this. This is normal. This is completely normal. Everything is fine. Normal operational parameters. Oh, God, it's starting to hop about on the launch pad.
It's becoming unbalanced. Oh no. Twenty RPM. It's kind of it can't really get past that. I'm gonna retract. That should give us a speed boost. There we go. 30, 34, 35, 38. We're alternating between like 36 and 38 RPM. I don't think we can get past that though. We need another rotor. We must go faster. Can I make the arms extend and retract with on unison? With effort, yes. But too much effort, I can't be bothered. We have seven minutes left of the stream. Okay. Lift. Robotics. Heavy rotor. Heavy rotor. There. Counterclockwise. 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 Stage. Toggle motor power. Toggle motor power. Toggle motor power. And main throttle. RPM limit. RPM limit. Not that I think we'll be using that. Okay. No manned command module. Oh no, is it unmanned everything? Let's have a look. Oh, it has. Ah. Get your bloody seats. Eh. Why would it do this? This guy took one little bit off of something. Eh. Eh. Save. Launch. Mini boosters on the chair is not a bad idea. Would a fuel rotor have more torque? Good point, it may well do. Maybe we could try that, just get a bunch of those. They need intake air though. Is that what the problem was with the helicopter? Lack of intake air? No, it was still spinning. I don't know, whatever. Uh, oh, just stop with you jumping about. Just activate. Spin. There we go, that calms it down. Alright, we got 18 RPM on that one, we got 22 on that one, we got 20 on that one, between them it's 60. This is more like it. Are they gaining speed or have they stopped again? This one basically is shut down. The other ones have picked up the slack. No, they're all going slower. This is no good. Okay, let's try this. Extend. Wrong button. Extend. So go slower. These will speed up. It's basically turning into... Oh, oh no, 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 no. What are you doing? Oh, it's spidering again. Oh, God. Oh, it's got bad. Oh no! No no no! Retract! Retract! Abort! Oh god, abort! Oh jeez, okay, okay. Now we got some speed though, look at this! 60 RPM. 11 on that one. Another 10 on that one. 80 RPM, nice! Slowing down though again. Now, okay, let's try that again. Extend. And this time we'll just let it do its thing. Let it, let's see what it does. Everything goes nice and slow, slowly spinning. Separatrons on the end with unpowered rotor and infinite fuel hex might work better because the torque increases it swings out. Mm. Hey, here it goes! Oh god! Oh, one leg's gone, only one. It's doing its dance! It's higher up now though, so I don't know if it can actually reach the ground with the, uh, with the Kerbals. Oh, something went. Was that another leg? It was! Oh no! Oh no, two legs next to each other! It's losing stability! Oh god! Oh no, there goes another one! It's gonna go! Landing strut overstressed. Ah oh, no! The Spider-Tron has fallen!
There's two Kerbals still on it. <laughs> it's trying to spin, but it can't. Hang on, bring in the gear. Because I reckon we'll be able to spin the, the central pod, maybe. I don't think it's quite happening. Oh, dear. Yeah, they're just chilling up there, hanging upside down. Oh, dear. Oh, very dear. I don't think I can do anything. Oh, I can retract. Retract! Oh, it's getting more excited. Ah! I must spin. Yeah, one of them is spinning, which means another one must be spinning in reverse. Fun. Extend. Oh dear. Yeah, this is its life now. Oh, launch clamps. Uh, yeah, but then it won't fall apart. Okay, revert flight. Vehicle assembly. Um, I've, oh, I've, we've got to go. I've got one minute before we, we hit the four hour mark and, and the stream becomes borked if I don't uh, end it. So I've, we've got to wrap it up here. I'm very, very sorry we have to. Um, I might do more of it because it continues to be fun just messing with the robotics parts and stuff. But yes, um, places you will find me. Um... There will hopefully be some videos out over the next couple of days of Satisfactory and Vulcanoise. We'll see how that goes. I'm going to go record those now. So, tell me off if I don't. Um, and then there's not going to be a stream on Saturday. There's not going to be a stream on Monday. There might be one on Tuesday or maybe on uh, Thursday again next week, if nothing else. Like, if all those fails, Thursday's a good time to expect me. Um, and also be on Roll for It on Sunday as normal in the Shadowrun uh, Twilight Sins uh, show as my magical dwarf who's terrible... Uh, at rolling dice. But that's all I have time for today. So, uh, I shall say goodbye, thank you for watching, and I shall see you next time.